I guess. Was that like eight curse words? <laughs> no, but I didn't. I didn't. Lonnie's the myself. only one that can drop the gamer word, but he's not going to on stream, right, Lonnie? Yeah, oh, like last week. <laughs> oh, did I do that? Oh, last week was bad. Thank goodness we weren't recording. Sorry. Yeah. It... My character's Native American, so I'll say different word instead. No, no. <laughs> no, because then I have to take offense to that. <laughs> oh, you're, you're part of... Are you an Apache warrior? I don't know. I'm a quarter something. Something from Wyoming. Blackfoot, probably. Wyoming? But, yeah. yeah. Probably. More than likely Blackfoot. Cool. Here. Yo. Yo, ancestors. Because that's what I am, fool. Uh-huh. From the same general area. <laughs> I've got some Comanche in I don't know how much. Enough that you can take offense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough about systematic like racism. <laughs> yeah, enough the, yeah, whoa. Jeez. Enough with the U.S. history lesson, I guess, huh? Uh, Let's... Welcome back <sighs> to session four. I have titled this shell of a time. Mm, nice. We're, we're heroes in the half shell. Yeah, We only have one hero in a half shell. Shell and a half men. So I know it's been a while, but would someone care to lighten up? What happened last time? What brought us to this interesting situation that we find ourselves? Yes. You gotta say last time on and then you say it. Yeah. Do it right, Devin. Do it right. I feel like it's Lonnie's turn to remind us. No, I did that last time, actually. No, you didn't, but okay. <laughs> it was Devin, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's fine. Second notes. I have all the notes down besides where we came out of the port. Um, when, uh, <laughs> half human love each other very. Oh, you're an elf. When a mommy elf and dad. Yeah. A baby elf comes out. Mm-hmm. So we left the, the port thing. of whatever harbor that was that we were at, where we met. Um, Let us port. There we go. We were at Lettuceport there. <laughs> we were on the streets. We were looking for a potion shop. We stumbled upon the traveling merchant where we caused some shenanigans. Some fun times. We all remember those. We then uh, got jumped by some um, scarecrows. And we were helped by a man named um, Se- uh, Septimus. Who uh, helped us out and got us over to um <laughs> to uh Bryn, the first mate of the ship that we're on of Scarlet Ship. Um, find out that Septimus has a weird um sort of um connection to these people that he doesn't want to go any more deeper on than what he already is at. So we've uh, set sail, going over to a uh, Savannas. Dealt with some um, um, sirens, where after some rope tricks, we were able to get ourselves out of that situation. Um, we're still on the quest to go after the hunter. Um, and with the last thing we got response from our um, head guy is that um, the hunter is in Savannas. We will gather more information there, but uh, it's on our own to figure out that information. And at the last, before we left off, we... Uh, Made um, we voyage into the territory of a giant dragon turtle. Indeed, indeed, you did. <laughs> now the dragon turtle is uh, has currently rammed into the ship a couple of times. Yes, um, it is now being paced alongside it. You can see its massive shell kind of out of the wall. So. Before we jump into uh, that mess, I... so the scarecrows that you mentioned, uh, I don't think I made it clear, and I 
it didn't change the name on the stat block, but those were in fact Warforged soldiers. They were just specifically, you know, a meta meta game wise, they were using the, uh, I, the Scarecrow stat block, but they were. I figured. I just didn't want to go beyond that point of assuming stuff. Yeah, just a just a clarification. Um, Perfect. Secondly, do you guys remember? Where exactly in Spanus? Uh, if you pull up the map, I do. If we can look at the map on it. Yay! Uh, liar, Wait, which is not visible. Did we actually Lyran, decide I where believe. we were going? Yeah, we're going to Lyran. Lyran. Yep. It takes about two weeks to get there. I think we're, we're one day in... away, right? Yeah. We're a little bit away. Ways away. Would be there right now, except someone had to roll for a giant turtle. You have about maybe two more travel. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Before you get there. So. All right. Back to the ship. Ship. We'll start us off. Having everybody roll initiative. Woohoo! Yeah. Hey. All don't you guys don't you mean roll some new characters? The music. Yeah, I don't like mine. Remember, did you privately roll it? Me? Uh, yeah. Did? Yeah. No. Did I? Uh. <laughs> yeah. You guys can't see what mine was? <laughs> no. I mean, we can see it in the actual initiative order, but... Huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is the best we've ever rolled as a party. Is it? <laughs> oh, fuck. I believe it. Well, it was. No one got any reds? Not uh, yet. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looked... righty. That's perfect. Um... What I meant to do was take that off. <clears throat> nice. Okay. So the uh, I'm just gonna add like the sun. That work the way I wanted it to, so we can actually see it. I like it. It didn't work the way I wanted it to. Let me do it. There we go. Sun's over there. Ah. Huh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that some of you guys couldn't see. I'm just gonna give you. Hang on. I'm gonna give you light. This is <laughs> happening in the middle of the day. But, you know. Hey, vision. You can see. Could be able to. See. There we go. Now everybody should be able to see just about everything. everything. Yes. <clears throat> um All right, before the battle begins, uh Captain Scarlet is standing at the helm of the ship over here, and she shouts at you to try and keep that thing off of you. She's going to have her crew focus on just trying to get away. Got it. So, just so you are aware, the ship itself does have stats. It has hit points. And um, it can sink if it gets damaged too oh, much. No. Please, no. Uh, thankfully, it has a lot of hit points because it's it's several different parts of the ship. But, just so you know, no. the ship is in danger here. 
game. All right. Deathmore, you're the first one to lead us off here. Yes, I am. What does one do against such reckless hate? It's probably a strong word. It's just, you know, it's what... territory. Yeah. Say a prayer, prayer, to my, prayer to my god with no spells out of that, and then just, I guess, move... Move about there. Um, just quickly making sure everybody that full health and everything would have had a full run. Long rest since the last encounter to this one. You, yep, all good. Cool. Nice. Spell slots. Yeah. We're, uh, Thank goodness I moved. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a. It's a good thing. <laughs> So I'll take my. <laughs> you fire at the massive shape off the uh, the starboard side of the ship here, and you do hit it. Uh, it just pings off of its um, armored back. The shell it just dings off. Um. Then yeah, I guess I'll just for my second action, I'll just go defensive. Okay. Because seeing that my arrow did nothing, I think I'm going to play defense. Okay. Good luck. I am... What does this do? Uh, 24. Oh, there's no ground. I'm just Great. curious, did y'all discuss strategy at all? Or did that never No, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> okay. Where's Only, the fun of that? <laughs> actually, we 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 said we were dead. That's kind of what this goes. So four, <laughs> yeah, move four. Yeah. And then and Emilio um, did talk about stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We we came up with three different strategies that we ourselves are going to handle. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. one of them. Yeah. Mm, it's not what's in. Yeah, so I'm just going to shoot longbow at it, I guess. I'm going to aim for its eyeballs. Whatever that is. Longbow. Um, since it's the first turn of combat, I get a, an extra attack or whatever. Okay. Blech! 11 will not do it, unfortunately. What about the second attack? <laughs> what about a 15? A 15 also will not do it. Oh, no, you're, mommy. You're trying to aim for its head, which is currently underwater. Kind of oh, yeah. from time to time bobbing up and down when the waves kind of uh, flow over yeah, it in that recess, the trough of the wave. Head break. Okay, so then I will um, take one, two, three, four, five steps back. So that's nine total. And then I will bonus action uh take the dodge action uh using a key point uh to do that okay i guess you know i get whacked or something right so maybe your turn okay uh oh guess we'll just do the same thing as last time Struck. Uh, Great. DC 16 dexterity. Probably pass it. Actually, you failed it. It fails, surprisingly. Okay, so it just takes 30 damage. Uh, yeah, just make... Oh, yeah. He takes how much? 30. 30. Well, let's do this. Uh, did, did you already take it off? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Kaboom. Nothing happened. Uh, um... It's Dark Souls 1 with my fists. Not again. Not an insignificant amount of damage. No. He's got a big big bag of hit points. Yes. 
Well, there's a turtle, yeah. so I'd expect that out of him. Protect the cleric. Turtle enough for the whole club. Uh, <laughs> is that the end of your turn, Emilio? Yeah, that's it. Alright, Haley, on your turn. Fuck you, Chris. Uh, I didn't hey. want to watch that movie. Yeah, dude, it's great. It's been a while since I watched it. I want to watch it again. Kind of changed what I wanted to do here, so I'm trying to think here. I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration to get Keith's character's name off the top of my head now. What is wrong? Power. It's yeah. it's beautiful, cool African princess. Um, yeah, Calum. I'm going to give my Bardic Inspiration to Callum. And yeah. I am going to go ahead and... How far is this thing from me? Okay. What does that do again for me? Uh, it is a dice that you can roll on ability checks and saving throws. Mm. I believe it is a D8 at this level. I believe you're, uh, it says 1D6. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a multi-class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's 1D6. So it's a D6 that you can add. And once you use it, it's gone. Gotcha. Yeah. For 10 minutes. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna go ahead and boom, 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 boom. A lot of daggers, this guy. Cloud mm of -hmm. uh, four D four and got seven. Uh, you might want to change your roll. I actually cannot. Oh, it's stuck to self roll. Okay, here, it's seven. Seven. It's seven. I got two ones. <laughs> And then for... Uh, Do you not have to save? No. Isn't it... Cloud or Daggers just a save? No. Oh. You fill the air as many daggers on each side. A creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the area for the first time or on a turn. On, uh, for the first time or on a turn where it starts its turn there. Oh. Nice. Right. So every time it starts its turn there or moves into that area, it's going to take... Yeah. Okay. Already. Poke damage. <laughs> Anything else oh, on your turn? That's all I... Uh, well, yeah, hold on. I am going to... <laughs> oh, God. There you go. That's what I got. <laughs> Show me what you got. Wait. By the way, what is this circle? I just moved. That's this is the oh, call of lightning. I run oh. away. That's it. <laughs> this sir. All right. Um, it is its turn, so it's gonna take cloud of damage. Uh, cloud of damage again. Cloud of daggers damage. What I meant. Yay! Forty-four. What is thirteen? Its move? That's 40. not bad. Nah, do a 180. He doesn't want to attack us. Uh, Memo definitely wants to attack us. <clears throat> I need you all to make me dexterity saving throws as this massive turtle slams into the side of the ship, attempting uh -oh. to do some, some damage. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Trying to knock hell, knock got a one. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna add my 1d6 to this. Is that allowed for a saving throw? Yes. Or is it just the ability? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Hey yo.
Doo, doo, doo. You said it rammed into the side of the ship? Or, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do this. So you guys can see. I only have oh. one. Do a shift. <laughs> Hang on it. Not the boat. There, there we go. go. The ship. I just like both of them. Battle button. <laughs> oh yeah, you're streaming boss music, aren't you? Yeah. Where are you? Spotify. Uh, join. There we go. All right, Zethmore, you are fine. You get to stay in the spot that you're in. Uh, Tootie and Haleon, fine. Darkest dungeon. Rock Oof. solid. I drink more than this shit can make me spin. Ragmir, unfortunately, you find yourself, as it kind of bites into the side of the ship, it's actually pulling it towards, uh, towards itself. So the ship is actually beginning to slant down towards the sea on that side planting to starboard you find yourself sliding 15 feet closer to the railing before catching yourself Oof. and you are also knocked prone Um. Now the uh, the turtle does bite the ship. No. You know it does. Please he not. bite the uh, ship. The uh, ship. Ew. Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh -oh. Two claws. Does anybody? Does anybody know mend? God. Sorry, this ship doesn't have Mending River. I know I disregarded the lethal weapons of 14 kingdoms. That's about it. Uh -oh. so all we've done is the 30 damage to the turtle? 30 uh, a little bit more. Sorry. Oh yeah, because River did... It actually needs to take some more out of daggers damage. Uh, that is its turn. Now it's time for turtle on turtle violence. Yep, turtle on turtle violence. Let's go. Can Who I help? Is the superior turtle. Can I help Ragnar up so he doesn't have to waste time on his turn? Is that possible? Just, I don't know. Just waste half my movement. Yeah, it's all of it to get up. Mm. Yeah. The movement you already don't have. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I got 10 movement for my turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you know what? Is it like, uh, is it below the deck? Or where is it's it? It's large enough where you can make I... space with it if you wanted to. It's currently trying to chomp on the starboard side. Go up okay. and slap it with your flippers. I am going to go up and slap it with my flippers. Show him who's boss. Oh, is it saying anything? Can I hear it? You are you speaking it, to it? Can I speak to it? What languages do you speak? And what language uh, are you trying to communicate with? Aquin, I believe. Aquin. That makes sense. That's one of my speeches. One of my only speeches. Interesting. Okay, what do you wish to say to this creature? Uh, <laughs> let go, you son of a bitch, as I will do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bad turtle. Bad turtle. <laughs> Bad turtle. <laughs> as I smack him with my flipper. <laughs> and miss. <laughs> yeah. Miss terribly. So that also fell apart of the play that I was thinking about, so okay, perfect. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, um, the attack doesn't seem to phase the dragon turtle. <laughs> However, speaking to it in Aquin, it actually responds. It takes you a second to understand what it's trying to say, though, because uh, any of you guys play the, the original, well, the, the new God of Wars? Yeah. Yeah, the World Serpent. When oh, it's so like, yeah. uh, really drawn out each word. Yeah. Uh, that's basically what you hear. And a mouthful of shit, too. It, as it's, yeah, currently chomping down on, on the ship, it says, Smells good. <laughs> yeah, honest, honestly, huh? at this point, that still falls into like plan one. What I feel yeah, like this should be. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else on your turn there, Tootie? Uh, no. I'm just going to stand there. I'm going to sit there. Okay. I wish I had that stinky ass meat I had earlier. Callum. Yes. Ooh, lightning. Oh, one second. I'm gonna... Bing, bong, boom. Bing, bong, boom, bing. So we've only done 30 damage to it? That's not a bad chunk of like health. 40 damage. On. More like 40-ish, but yeah. yeah. That ain't yeah, bad. 40. Go give him the old bing, bong, Keith. Yes, I'm gonna punch it as a wizard. Actually, you know what? Let's <laughs> let's do it. Go get the old Bing Bong key. I I cast it. fist. <laughs> I feel like, like it was just had... eyes of like shell damage. I mean, he could if he had Big B's hand, he could punch it, but he's not there yet. Big exactly. I mean, it, it's it's in range. It's forty feet away from me. I don't think Big Big B's hands can attack. I'll have to look it up again. It had some very specific. Bomb, make a DC a 14, turtle, or take lightning to the face. Yeah, screw yeah. you, take 27. Oh, okay, cool. It actually and does, yeah. It has, it's, it's like a fish. six of the way dead. It makes nice. a melee spell attack within five feet of it. Damn. Wow. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess I'll end my turn right there. 48 damage. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was. I feel like uh, it may, it's probably just Mage Hand that I'm thinking of. Like oh yeah, Mage Hand is so yeah, Mage Hand, yeah, pretty limited in what you can. It's specific. nearly as it's nearly as picky as Tensor Flying Disc. True, or floating disc. <laughs> Tensor Flying Disc is like one of the most like icky spells I think I've ever read. You can just see like a DM just like hit a thousand times like no for the last time <laughs> you can't use the spell this way. All right. Uh, but, uh, yeah. You back. need a lot of greed to understand if you can use it that way or not. Mm-hmm. Hurry, yeah. Zap, Zap the more cast these hands. Cast these hands. I'm not running up and punching a turtle dragon. Come on. But the important thing is you can. Aren't you like a dragon monk or something? Just do it and get behind the turtle. True. Exactly. So that's two <laughs> steps. Um. Cool. What I will do is I'll attempt a unarmed strike. Wait. Twenty three will hit. Key point activated right now to go with a stunning strike upon this. Mm, okay. So the way we're going to handle the stunning strike problem, yep. we're all on the same, is once it's been activated on a target, um, and once they save from it, it can That's no it. longer be, yeah, it can no longer be used. Okay. So, uh, no. Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving DC 14. A lot of constitution. Yeah, I know it does. Yeah. yeah. It was worth a shot. You boop it on the snoot with the intention of uh, stunning it, and it does not seem to care. Nope. nope. But there's a damage of five. <laughs> nice. And I'll punch it a second time. 
That one fails. So, yeah, you, you smack against its uh, upper jaw, and it's hard. And I'll bonus action the third time to go and punch the third time, I guess. Because I can do that. I do it. Cool. I move 10, and I will stay there, because that's an attack of opportunity, so I'm going to remain there. Alrighty. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How close am I? Oh, yeah. Alright, so, <clears throat> I pull out my, uh, my death flute. My pipes of haunting. And I will use it to attempt to frighten him. Uh, it's a DC 15 wisdom save. All creatures are within 30 feet of you. Keep I, reading. I assume you are wishing for your party member. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, just be clear. <laughs> DC 15 wisdom save. Okay. Yeah. Holy fuck. He doesn't have that much wisdom. Really a 19. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, that's all I got. I uh gonna go back. So that was let's see one, two, three, four. All right, I'm back behind cover. That's my turn. Okay. <laughs> or whatever that is. It's the mast. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not cover. What is it? I don't know. If I, well, line of sight? It, honestly, it's more like. Don't let it get hit. It's more like that. It's a, oh, like I a see. Circular post it's a circle that these sails gotcha. are attached to. Yeah. It's a part of a ship we don't want to have damaged. It's just there's literally nothing circular in that, <laughs> that many software that I use. So it's just like, yeah, it's a square. Gotcha. Square circle. It's Minecraft. <laughs> Um, all these squares make a circle. All these squares Squirkle. make a circle. All right, Ragnar, your turn, sir. All right, well, first things first, stand up. Yes, very important. And then move two squares, because it's all I got. And then we're just going to keep the call lightning going, because it's 10 minutes of concentration, so fuck it. Yeah. I'm sorry I removed that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pop it back up. Right, right here, thing or something like that. Roughly, yeah. Yeah. The uh the clouds circle overhead. You see sixteen dexterity. Slider based. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. I pass it this time. He takes half damage, so roll the damage. Oh uh, wait. Um it looks right, but it's got weird numbers on there. What? Yeah, what is it doing? Oh, is it stormy outside? Because you get an extra D10. No. I got 14. I got 14. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. How does that cast out day? <clears throat> Outdoors in a stormy condition. That, that bottom three is for the extra D10 if it was I stormy. I see. It was just four gotcha. really weirdly for yeah, some it reason. Formed, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Gotcha. 14 damage. Yeah. Uh, half of 14. So. Half 14, so yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. That's it. Alien. Alien will I am probably going to hit this fool with Yeah. We're gonna double Eldrick Blast his ass. Double Eldrick. That doesn't hit. Does nineteen hit? Nineteen does not hit. Oh, does hey. Your guy. hey, that tells me the age. Perfect. Oh. Right. 
You want to move? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cast Bardic Inspiration on We're gonna go ahead and use that on uh Okay. Hey, yo. Dragon turtle. Mm. He stops chomping on that side of the ship. Kind of pushes himself up out of the waves a little bit so that he kind of begins to tower over the deck of the ship before thrusting his head forward and breathing hot steam. Steam blast. The steam blast. <sighs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh, come on. Damn it. You're yep. actually just out of range, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks. Yeah, yo. Callum. Yeah. What, <laughs> what the oh. trouble in his face gets missed? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go. This is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, the the mask isn't color covering us, huh? Nope. Nope. No. No. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you would have wanted to be like. I think it's a Constitution save. Okay. God. Yeah, bark inspiration ain't gonna help that. I'll just save it. Nope. <laughs> Come on, roll. Just roll. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody failed. I rolled the seven. Can we all die in one Zach? Yeah, probably. Eventually. We're all gonna die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we all Everybody's die. down. What the fuck? No, please. Why, Chris? Why do you murder us like this? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, I think I'm just dead. Does the boat take damage? Yeah, everybody's down. Does the ship? Yeah, how's the condition of this ship after this attack? Uh, it's <laughs> blasting... Mm, like cuts on fire. Oh, no, it's steam. steam. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Wet and warped. Yeah. Um, it actually... Well, it's blasting it across the bat. It's blasting at the people who is attacking it. Yeah, I am not able to cat use a reaction, am I? It depends on what the reaction is. Nah, I can't. I'm down. I have to. I have to uh, be able to be like physically able to do something to do it because it's a uh, somatic or whatever. I have to use my hands. Oh, do I have a reaction? And I Probably think not. Zathamore, you just narrowly a massive damage. Still alive, taking death saving throws. Huh? Oh shit! I mean, I'll take, I'll take it then, because maybe I did my math wrong. As it, as it does that, it submerges. It's getting ready to ram us again. God, we need support. The support's dead. Oh, yeah, I need to be dead, too. Hold on, let me take this damage real quick. Uh, the massive ah. damage is half. How much health do you have total? 33. Yeah, you should be good. 33 plus 17 is what? Only 21 more damage. It would be 27 at half. 27 at half, okay, cool. You're just shy. You're just shy. <laughs> All right. Goddamn. And he did slightly above average damage. Yeah, he did. Yep. Uh, yeah. I can't believe he's... none of us could fucking make that saving throw. I did. No. <laughs> it's, 18. It it's 15 d6 fire damage. I made the saving throw by standing out of the way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I did too. 
All right. I thought I, I thought I was out of the way. Stupid Scooty. fucking circular. Suddenly, Rest. you are one of two people oh. who are still on their feet on the deck of the ship. I need healing. Uh, what do I like? Does he use an action to help someone? It is a bonus Wait, action to feed them a potion to get them back into. The oh shit! But if they are down, they will start taking death save. Save them! Save them! Gordon, shut up. Oh yeah, mine and river spells are gone now too. Down. Down. Hey, uh, well, I'll pick uh my little friend next to me up. Yep. You raise me up. And are you using for potion or? <laughs> Considering I don't have a heal potion, we should. I thought we all bought some. Yeah, yeah I can use one of the three on my body. Yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna do. I don't want to accidentally feed him poison, and I don't know where my snake oil went. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the snake oil! I forgot about the snake oil. What a way Please. to go out! Let me Please know don't feed me do... the snake oil. Let me know if you do want to use the snake oil because the... I, I figured. <laughs> I just... uh, do it. I, I want mean, it. Pick me up. Let me drink a regular health potion, and I'll take the snake oil. So can I? No, no, no. You should have bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink it then. I will well, eventually. Eventually. I mean, you can so use. I, it on I these. pick up. I pick up. Uh, I I use the potion to pick him up. Okay. And then I'm going to move. Uh, I measured this as 25 feet. I've seen this before. Over here. Back up. I can't use an action to pick anyone up. Yes, mm -hmm. be bonus action. So you use your action to pick Zathmore up. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I thought you said it was bonus action. Yeah, I think he meant to say action earlier. Yeah, because you got to fish it out of his bags and then make him drink it while he's unconscious. It's, uh... Yeah. Oh, okay. Making somebody drink something unconscious is not an easy task. Yeah, I think no, picking up the that? cleric would be the easiest way to get everybody up. You gotta rub their throat. <laughs> but that can be a job for Callum because he's up next. Let's hey, see. Yo. I don't think I have. Yeah. The the air is still very warm, right where the uh the steam blasts, and uh, you can see that the wood of the ship is kind of smoking and and warped a bit, but toasty. Still functional. Room, room, room. My boy. I will use, I think I have two. Let me double check. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have, I have two health none. potions. Oh, yeah. two health I do have two. Potion of healing. So I'll just use one of them. Use my bonus action to feed it. Action. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, bless <laughs> you. Ragmere. Right. Right. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Can I just smack them away? That's all no, I'm going to be able to do. You can you can stabilize them. You can make mm. a medicine check to stabilize them. That would just keep them from having to make death saves, but they will not get yeah. in the fight. They'll still be unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Ragnar is back in the fight. A mere Big days on my health. Hey, do we think actually it, like have a healer or no? I think, uh, think aid. If you cast aid, it'll pick up multiple of us. That the more just has just... Mm. I do have mass healing word. That, yeah, that works too. Mm. You are back up, no longer making death saves. Yes, you are prone, but otherwise you can act normal. Action. See, like a. Okay. So I'll stand up. Um. Gosh. 
I can get them up. You don't have to worry about getting them up. Okay. Uh, it's that health pool. I guess I'll take one action to drink a potion. Bonus. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bonus action. Then let me do my action first, I guess. Tootie, have you uh, relayed to everyone what the turtle said? I don't want to do a hand of harm. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, knocked sure. out, eh? Coup de gras. <laughs> I'll relay it. The hunter sends his regards. <laughs> guy, this guy smells something stanky, and it ain't me. Oh, nice. You can heal yourself. Yes. Just using key points. That's cool. That's a really good healing ability on a monk. Of course, you have to go and touch people. I'll do my bonus action to drink a health potion. I punch you to life. Now I punch you to life. <laughs> you only do it once, though. Yeah. Yeah. In my mind, it's like some secret like pressure point that like gets your heart beating again. <laughs> then I'll do... Move three steps and then go defense. Okay. Or go with dodge. There it is. That's the word. Dodge. Helic. Helic be dead. Right. Hold a death save. Death How do save. I make that save? Uh, attribute. Just a flat uh, d20, or I think you can actually. Yeah. Where's it on the, the UI? Attributes. It's, if you go to attributes, mm -hmm. underneath your, like under your armor class. Straight down, you'll see a thing that says Death Saves. Click on that. Straight down. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, oh, I see it. Saves. I see it. Oh. Normal. That's a success. Yep. Two Yay. more of those, and you stabilize. Uh, crit, and you're back into the fight with one hit. Or until Ooh. some. Back up. You fail to those, and you die. Gotcha. There's another character, Lonnie. Drug me. Right. <laughs> All right. So big bad creature that Keith wanted. I didn't want it. I didn't roll for it. This is you. You're like, I want to find oh. something. To be fair, it's not the monster he wanted, and he did not roll for it. No, he did not. All right. But I, do I choose that. This is some of, you know, speaking it into existence kind of thing. Yeah, literally. Fast healing that's, word. Yep, that's for me, this Lonnie River. Get and... any worse. Giant turtle appears. Everybody yep. immediately. You. Everybody who can take get healed because Judy and Callum don't need it. So okay. up to six yeah. creatures of your choice that you can see yeah. within range. Six, six, okay. away. six creatures sixty feet away from me. Yeah. I feel like Mushu from fucking Mulan right now. <laughs> I am alive. Yeah. So you two uh, come to consciousness. You are prone, um, but you are back in the fight. Okay. Such as. Any other thing you want to do on your turn there, Ragmir? I... Oh, boy, uh, I should do something. Remember, for you spellcasters, you may cast a second spell, provided that you have the action available to do so, and that it is a lower level than the spell you can. Ooh, uh, we can? And... I want to cast... I'm going to cure wounds myself, because... Yeah. I'm allowing the other group to do that, so I will allow you guys to do that as well. I'll take eight for myself. There we go. All right, that's it. The cool. bonus and my action. All right. Hey, Leon. What are your health points, Keith? I have I'm going health. to drink a nice potion. Just laying there on your back. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to kick back, relaxing. Enjoy the gulp. <laughs> Enjoy those heels. Uh, yeah. And I'm just going to lay there because I used my action to heal. Okay. Well, you can, you can use your movement to get up. Oh, I use my movement to get up then. After movement. Swing. Up. All right. Oh, half movement. There we go. That's half. Round it down, right? Mm -hmm. It's the dragon turtle's turn. Oh, God, we're dead. Again. Get me the... away. Get me away. 
ship suddenly lurches as it is as it is struck from below. Oh, the part that we can't defend. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not fully true. You can't break the ship if I break it first. Mm. I do have a potion of water water breathing if someone wants to go down there. I can go it's down me. there for an hour. <laughs> yeah, I, I breathe uh, underwater already, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'll just yeah. die. <laughs> just get eaten. Yeah. Dumb dumb. Hmm. You see, it well, begins to resurface on the uh, port side. Port side. Fucker. Judy. Ooh, I can just barely make it with my dash. Barely made it. Yeah, so... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I just bought that game. You're too slow. <laughs> You're too slow. Yep. So using That's my way dash, past cool. Alright, uh... Or uh, using my... Yeah, using my dash. You freaking run my max distance over here. And, uh, I'm gonna fucking... Poke it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna try to get us out of this situation. <laughs> it deflects oh, off of uh, the hard shell. It's actually moving away from you, so you're kind of stabbing at the back end of it. Yeah, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> run away. No one liked you, anyways. What well, language did they say that in? Yeah. Hmm. We can't see the damn turtle, can we? No, you can now. Is it saying anything? Is it friendly? No. Um, is it just being it, ha- it has not since you last uh, spoke to it. Oh, I, don't... Well, I was kind of bantering at it, but... I don't want to group up with anyone anymore. Yeah. I sure hope it doesn't flip a tail up. Boom. Start going up here. Six. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in the cone. I'm sixty feet away. <laughs> I measured. I measured. I'm sixty-five. Get away. You can always move. I did move. It's okay. I'm gonna move up higher in a second. Do it goes higher before you. Do 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 do. Don't boom. <gasps> Another one. Yeah, it's within. Yes. I am. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Again. Let's see. Okay, well, it's going to take it. half. Oh, mm-hmm. it's a low one. At least you can hit it. <laughs> True. Yeah. You can't even hit it. It's true. Wow. I think that's all I could do. I used all my movement, I used everything. All right. Stop around four is at the more. These hands? Question mark? No. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that... Mm, okay. Any utility... Okay, I'll move six. Let's try my longbow again. Oh, crit. Cool. I don't hit. Right. In the back. Show my neck. In the nose. Second, nice. I hit a shot. You managed to place an arrow in between the, the shell and the uh, soccer fleshy bits. It roars out in pain and 
2D. You hear, ah, give good smell. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> give good smell. Good smell. Upon we hearing have something the... this full wants. Upon hearing the roar, I'm gonna retreat backwards with a dash movement. Okay. We're just, yeah. There. Okay. Hey, look. Um. Dang it. Oh well. My character wouldn't know. Two, three. Where's the captain in this? Is she like uh, furiously helming the ship, barking out orders? Like back here. Yeah. One, two, uh, three. He my drawing. Uh. She would be right here. Little ghost person. Yeah. Would speak with animals let me talk to it? No. Okay. Uh, no, because it is not. It is not a. Oh, only works with beasts. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember okay. that quite well from playing Neon. It is a very nitpicky spell. Gotcha. It is. All right, I will attempt to cast this spell. You could probably it. talk to like a a whale that's in the ocean or like a fish. Wait, hold up. Yeah, start talking to fishes. Can I, can I cast this spell like from the ship? You have How to does this spell work? Right? So like my, my idea is like to kind of have vines grab its mouth and and, and attempt to protect the ship or some shit. Which I what? restrained would do that if it fails, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, it's, right, a, so. it's a strength save, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's worth a try. It <laughs> just makes it. Wait, it's only a thirteen? Yes. That's hilarious. My stats suck. I mm. wanna cry. Does my inspiration help? It doesn't do anything, no. does it? No, not, not it. for a DC, no. Look. Alright, well, I tried it. It didn't work. Uh, vines begin to grow and reach out from the side of the ship, wrapping around the turtle, but it thrashes, snapping the vines and freeing oh, itself. Almost got him. Alright, so uh, that was two, three movement. This is four. Gonna bonus action. Uh, Health potion. Bonus action. Health potion? Okay. Yeah, Sounds and good. then I have five more movement. Can I go up that? Like, how far up was a dragon breath from when I got hit with it? Could I tell? It's a 60 like foot how... cone. No, like vertically, because I'm thinking about climbing up the helm. It's a 60 foot cone. So it depends oh, on where oh, you're at. It goes up the 60 cone. feet? At the, yeah. at the well, highest well, end, well, yeah, technically the height would be. But in the middle, feet. it's up 30 feet. Okay, okay, that yeah. makes sense. Something like that. All right, I'm still no, gonna go yes. up. It might save me. It might you not. You want me to send you the conic formula, there, buddy? <laughs> Please no. Three D. You're, you're, you're already making a stupid Pythagorean theorem to give you inspiration. You might as well learn some conic shit while we're at it here. <laughs> I got yeah, 25 wrong. movement, so I'm going 25 up. Hopefully, you're that's all within range. Still. Uh -huh. uh, oh yeah, you're I'm trying right. Trying to move, that but was you... I should have just ran away to the other side. Of the Can ship. I just like take the full brunt of the blast and save everyone? <laughs> No. You cannot, sadly. Yeah. Can I change my mind and run away instead? Three. Run away? Why not? Yeah, can I just run away instead? You're on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Where are you going to run away to, my guy? <laughs> to the <Bottom> home. <laughs> can I do this instead? One, two, three, four, five. Can I do that instead? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then I'll just do my output. My turn's over. All right, cool. <laughs> I just We're have the, the image of Killing just jumping and like, fuck this shit. Just jumping <laughs> overboard and since he's a vampire, just like swimming. sitting at the bottom of the ocean, arms crossed. I, I legit thought about that. I was like, if I just put rocks in my, my pockets, I'll just wait it out. Come back a couple of days later and see who's alive. I wish sure. there was something that would let me freeze <laughs> the ground well, here's or the something, thing. and I'd just ride out of there, Kimaja from fucking One Piece. Here's the <laughs> thing. The ship isn't stopped. It's moving. So if you jump yeah. off, the ship is It'll going take to start me leaving a month mind. to get to shore. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Worth. Okay. Uh, I don't want to ride it. <laughs> Can I ride it? Five. I don't know. You're the one who's talking to it. I. Can I ride you? Yeah. If only we had stinky fish that it wanted. That'd be great. Yeah. If only. If only. If only. Yeah, if only our turtle would communicate with the team. Like, no way. Huh? I did. Check. I told you earlier. 
Goodbye. History history check. No one was listening, so. Check. Uh, I almost think I was dead. All right, history check. Mm-hmm. Uh, strength. Uh, there it is. Normal. Blah, blah. Oh, that's terrible. In the heat <laughs> of the moment. Not. Not remember. Darn. Only you. Only I had some sticky fish right? that it wanted or something. I have some in my stomach. Does that count? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> like a mama bird feeding a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what you you can try it. There, <laughs> I'm doing I'm cresting chromatic orb at it. Chromatic orb. Yes. It hits. Ooh, just hits. This hits perfect. All right, uh, and it's just gonna take max damage, which is thirty-two. Thirty-two. Mm-hmm. There's my divinity gone. Discord orb, it's Zenyatta. <laughs> Basically. And then yeah, that's. That's about it. Yep. New tank look, looks dope. Yeah. He, he looks yeah. terrifying. He releases on the second, right? Sixth. My, sixth? Okay. Sixth. Sixth, yeah. The day before my birthday. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, Leon. Seven days. Seven days? <laughs> oh, and how long do your kind normally live? Seven days! <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell? Lonnie, you move next to me. Get away. If I die, you die. Get the <laughs> heck away from me, dude. Maybe you'll block some of the damage. We go to Gosh, the no. Or at the very least, if I get low, I can bite you and get some health back. Oh my gosh. Is the ranger using the wizard as a shield? Yep. Yes. yes. Leave me alone. Get away from me. Honestly, it's not a very good shield. It's not going to last very long. It will not. Oh. <laughs> The two squishy races should, uh, classes should never be next to each other. Why do you think I left all of you and we're in a way? Yeah. I have, I have 42 health. I'm not that squishy. It just, this thing is ridiculous. Hey, is massive damage based off your current or your max? Total. Total, okay. Uh, River? Okay, I stepped away to get a water. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I was thirsty. Yeah, no hydration. No. <laughs> Ow. I gotta hydrate myself because all that spicy pork that I had. Fucking dehydrate the hell out of me. Mmm. I think I am going to This is a good question. Boom boom boom. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with a I hit him with a thunder wave. Oh my god. Um pass from yourself. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Hold on. Okay, then I changed my mind. I don't want to cast thunder wave. Yeah, because that's that's not gonna hit. That that would just fucking wreck our flippered friend there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to ride him so bad, huh? Thunder yeah. him off the ship. <laughs> I'm all. You know what? You know what? Yeah, I already cast it. Sorry, buddy. Uh oh. 
<laughs> uh -oh. I already cast it. I mean, rules is right. Let's go. I mean, you can change that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Then I'll change that. I'm not going to make you thunder wave your own party member. <laughs> Not this time. They've been thunderstruck. So I'm gonna mind, go ahead. Mind control -y type. Instead, I'll hit him with that instead. Better. Is that better? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they can't. Badge. <laughs> not bad. It's not bad though. Almost at half health. Hey, it's its turn. All right. First thing we do is see if he gets his breath weapon back. Cool. Oh. Sure. Yes. You got it. Yes. Hmm. Rip. <laughs> Mom. Doesn't have to turn around to face us. I don't think the move matters on that at that point. Chris, go away. He's an asshole. He said, I see you over there. Lonnie, the I hate you so much. He's going towards the stink. I Don't hate worry. you so much. I think it was my bait that lured him over here. I don't know. <laughs> your, your what? My bait. I bought stinky bait to get a really big fish. Sure did. Oh, you crit failed. Yo, how do you miss a bite? You dumb. He doesn't hit. No, it's fucked. Okay. Oh. Only gets one hit out. Really? A ship is saved. I really want to jump on it. I don't. I don't want to be here anymore. Get away from me. Back to you. Great. Spread out, boys and girls. I tell you. We're like all melee, right? Except for like two of us. I mean, you and me technically no, but yeah. Um, and Lonnie hmm. and Devin technically no. <laughs> Such a fucking difficult decision, but uh, you know, I'm trying what? to delete this circle, but I can't delete the circle. I'm gonna go. You have to be specifically on the uh. Measurement. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go down the stairs. Here. Oh, you're just going into the ship. Excuse yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> Bye, I, I guess. I kind of hate you. Uh, Tootie, down there you can see that there is a whirl of activity as the sailors are trying to get what look to be weapons in place. Large ballistas. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Is for ship-to-ship -ship combat. How's the structure, how's the structure of the ship look down here? Um, you don't see any major damage. I mean, you see damage, but nothing that's going to sink the ship. Okay. Ballistas. Do I oh, see anything up. with like fucking flies around it? Rotting, uh, rotting. Um, the storerooms would be further down in the very bottom. Yeah, okay. Uh well my tokens have been at the top, so I don't know where that thing um, is. Would like to go down there. I do have the other levels of. Uh, I mean, sure, if you don't mind. It's not just a straight stair. Mm -hmm. Not going to have any walls or anything. Yeah. <laughs> But with my movement, I can only make it to this first one. 
like this first level. Okay. At least. Uh, Alum. Next. Go ahead and take. Perfect. Me after I didn't get to ride the truck. Find yeah. that one. Oh mm, yeah. Get me away. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Wow. I'm chilling at the front. I'm about to pull the Titanic. Who's gonna, who's gonna join me? Which part of Titanic? Well, will. Um, <laughs> let me move two more spaces for free. I'll, and I'll meet show you, you in the car, boy. Oh no! <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> Everything but that part. I'm thinking of more like the guy bouncing off of the giant fucking propeller. <laughs> hey, that was no, 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 no. He did not bounce off it. He went through it. Uh um. <laughs> You see, he was supposed to bounce off as in CGI messed up somehow. I've seen that he movie too many through. damn times. <laughs> yes, he did a no clip. Uh, a no clip. What do you call it? Um, while I'm up here, can I observe the ship? Do I see any lifeboats? Just in case, I think to myself. There are a few dinghies strapped to the side of the ship. Huh. I just took a mental note. It's fine. And the eighty-year-old inside me laughs. Yeah, this is this is before general maritime health and safety. There are not the uh, required amount of lifeboats on this ship for its capacity. Oh, you mean how like the Titanic didn't have enough, Correct. and after it sank and everyone died, then everybody got safe. Correct. <laughs> hey, one of the children make great shields. Smart man. Thought, don't do that on my turn, please. <laughs> I'm just gonna cast. Um, this one? yes, it is. It's 120 feet. Target one creature. Three times. On hit. It's probably not gonna do anything. Not gonna hit. Maybe. It's no. So one hits, right? right. Yeah, one does hit. Okay. 6 hmm? Boom. There you yeah. go. Uh, you notice as it hits, the fiery attack does not seem to do quite as much damage as you feel like it. Well, which bolt it is next turn. It is resistant to fire damage. Sorry. You know, like a squirtle is through Tark Charmander. No, he's not a Pokemon master. Gordon, he know that. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Mr. I, I don't know. He only like fourth gen. True. No, he hasn't even been in the game. Not in last oh, like My turn. All right. Uh, at the top of this round, um, you guys hear hatches begin to open up on both sides of the ship as oh. Captain Scarlet begins calling for um, the ship the ship crew to start opening fire. Yes. Damage. And the question is, does it actually hit the turret? That will happen the... at the uh, bottom of the initiative. The ship uh, roll the two. But at, yep. At this point, the ship can start fighting back. It rolled the two. Dathamore, your turn. Yes. Is this from a game? I am going to make a history check if I can remember what dragon turtles love most in their life. Or why they attack um, seafaring vessels. I'm sorry, what now? I want to make a history check to see if I know why the turtle kind of is attacking. No, wrong one. Um... Before, before it. Probably. Maybe a tad bit out of Yeah. I f yeah. I should be the one. Oh. 
Thank you, who dies for playing lore. No idea. <laughs> he said, uh, nope. A different type of dragon. Um, honestly, I think that's all I want to do this turn. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna run up to it. Oh, famous last words. Last words. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna smack it. I'm gonna smack it. Actually, I am gonna smack it. <laughs> Norm <laughs> turtle. All right. I'm gonna. Watch, watch. I'm gonna attempt to bite it. But bite it. But bite it. <laughs> <sighs> You're going to bite the. Ma okay, go right ahead. Wait, is this, is this his head's over the? Or is he within melee? Uh, he's within melee. I mean, I just don't think you understand how massive this creature is. Yes, I saw a little taste. Like right, sushi. attack. You know, I no longer um... think my history check is out of range after hearing that idea. Yeah, even if I use my bardic inspiration, that's gonna miss. What well, does the dental plan look like? <laughs> I don't know. I imagine that probably hurts. Yeah, probably. I would think so. Have a plus two constitution. Uh, unfortunately, that misses. Probably. All right. Um, I'm gonna uh, bonus action disengage, but I have to use a key point to do that. Yeah, as you're running away from it. It roars again, and it seems to focus squarely on you. Oh, great! <laughs> Tootie, you hear the words, Just... You. You have it. Give it to me. So it does want him. I told you we could sacrifice him. One, two, three. Oh, wait, can I... Huh? No, don't, don't come. Go the other way. All the right. sky. Speaking of animals don't work, so I don't know what it's saying to me. It's well, your I don't know. Roaring at from my position, I don't know who it's talking to. So. That is also correct. Yes. <laughs> Rag me. No. Your turn. Communication. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll drop another chromatic orb then. Oh. Uh, can I still see it? Like through the fucking hatches. You can see it through some of the slats that they're trying to load the. Okay, because I can't see. It. Fourteen does not hit. Oh. Uh. I don't remember hearing this one. This is a good one. Uh, Only that's it then. Minute long. Alien. Hi. I'm gonna go ahead and. Shift my happy ass this way. Mm. I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. How wise is this thing? Fucking just wise enough. All right, well. Fine. Then I'm going to use unsettling words, too. Yeah. Just talk the shit out of them. <laughs> Track the number rolled from the next saving throw it makes. Okay. Or damage. All right. <laughs> it's the dragon turtle's turn. No! <laughs> it once again slams into the ship. Oh god.
Well, that should be taking the damage. As it begins to reach its massive thin claws and begin to scrabble at the side, he almost looks like he's trying to dig his claws in and pull the ship down so that he's slanted so that he can get up to you. Oh, no. All right, Tootie, your turn. Yay. Um, Bill. Uh, I think I've got everybody. Um. I want to make sure you guys can see what's going on. Booty booty. Big booty dooty booty. It's Mr. Booty to you. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. You are down in the mid uh middle deck of the ship. Middle deck of the ship. Uh are the stairs going this way? Because the stairs pretty... go up in up in that direction. Oh, because on the other level, I went down this way to it, get it's, in. It's uh, it yeah. It doesn't really don't matter. Oh, oh freak! And, uh... Move that 15 there. And I'm going to dash. So, where's the, the turtles are like right here, right? Yeah, I would say from your time on the ship, you know that this is up towards the sleeping quarters. Yep. There's some cargo here, but it's mostly just like emergency type of things. Mm -hmm. um, there is the mess hall down here, and then there's a kitchen, and beyond that, you don't know. They were never allowed down into the actual car. Okay. Where'd you say the cannons were? Because I thought they they're were being loaded up here oh, they're, and on they're the other here. side of the ship. Shit. I'm gonna try and make my way down to the cargo. Okay. Oh fuck. I moved fifteen, so I have to move another forty something. Okay. You can oh. see that the kitchen is in a little bit of disarray. Um Lots of plates and cups just kind of rolling about the floor. Can't actually see the kitchen, but it is. Yeah, I mean it's dark down here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I will end my turn. Back to as I try and think. Actual. Yep. Callum. Mm. You can see that the wow. dragon turtle seems to be pretty intently focused on Killick. Seems to be trying to pull itself up on deck enough to get to him. Are we going to move sideways? Yeah, whatever he said. Shit, ran it sideways. <laughs> hmm? That's what it sounded like, anyway. I don't know what it was, honestly. Uh, it was a fucking clip from that show I was trying to show you the other day. Hmm. Oh my God. Now you, uh, fucking River Keith. Blarkinson. That show was weird. You need to finish it. 
Well, darn it, all my level 2 spells are fire! <laughs> That's no good. Today he learned having all your spells of the same type is actually bad. But they're not. Oh, oh well. Oh, he yeah, has Scorching Ray and Flaming Sphere. Oof. And I have Lightning Ball. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. The first level spells you can upcast, Keith? Yes, actually. That's what I was trying to do. I believe so. Hmm. What I've been doing. Chromatic Warp is the first level spell I've been upcasting. Yeah, yeah. It's just... It's 30 feet. <laughs> Lonnie, get away from me. <laughs> I need you to. There, that's 30 feet. A dirty 30. Broom. It's full. Yes. Let's try it as a level 2. Now you are 1. Forever connected. If Please. Hits. Please! No! Oh, <laughs> God. It hits Lonnie instead. Wow, don't even aim that at me, bitch. Get out of here. And just kind of sparks for a moment before you realize <laughs> uh, what's happening and you call it off. Like, wow, well, jeez. Can't get bad. it up. What else is new? Yo, at least I've done damages. Like, what did you, you bit it for like two hits? I don't want to hear it. I didn't even damage it. Right. We're in this mess because of you. The ballistas begin to fire. You like Callum's very hostile towards Keelik right now. Just a little. It's okay. That's plus that. Oh, yeah. the ballistas hit their mark. Nice. 300 damage. Dealing. 21 damage. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's neck and neck. Reload. It's a race. Dathomar. Let's get the ship to zero yeah. first. Three. We'll shoot it with more arrows. Nope. And yes, cool. Look at that. It's a crit. And I will move back to. That's my turn. Can I? Can my character make a check to see if he realizes why the turtle's going after him? History check. Oh god. <laughs> I have a plus zero, so it's just it's a fair roll, you know. Fairly, oh, yeah. really you good. Keep, you keep thinking, if only I had some smelly fish, and you realize you do have some smelly fish. You got right. from one of the sailors here to help you with your fishing. It's in a small oh. little tin, then it smells absolutely foul. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> I laugh out loud. Ah, I wanted a big catch. I, I pull it out and kind of hold it up. And then I will uh, yeah. eat it, right? Uh, eat me. <laughs> I'll walk up, walk up to him and... and uh, try to uh, toss it into his mouth. Uh, I guess I got a bigger catch than what I was looking for. It, as soon as you pull it out of your pouch, it focuses on it like a dog. And toss it into its gaping maw and snap shut on it. That's all it's able to do. It is not its turn. Okay, yeah, so I moved two, and then I'm going to back up. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Actually, yeah, 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 here, seven. Yep. Right Inside right. whatever that is. Uh, So this part of the ship is actually raised up a couple of feet. Hence the stairs. Ah, so that is the edge. Gotcha. 
push me to the edge. Oh. My friends are dead. Mm. We're all about to be dead. They were dead. Right, once more. Into the breach. You saw uh Kilik take something out of his pouch and throw it into the gullet of the creature. Seems to be eating it. Whatever it was. Ah, uh, and uh, then we will. What we're going to do here now? Uh, right, well, then I'm just going to cast Bless Me. Lonnie and Devin. One in time. Oh god. My bad. I'm over here. Okay. Hey. Hey, Lonnie and Devin. We're all blessed now. Perfect. Right. Hey, Leon. You too saw Keelig pull something out of his pouch and toss it into the gaping maw of the dragon turtle. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have much left, friends. I will. Cast a witch's bolt. Okay. All right, crits. Crit? I couldn't do that. Sad. And I got oh, five. No. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, okay. Well, you tether to oh. it. Is there anything else to do on your turn? Um, no. Okay. The dragon turtle, its eyes now closed, mouth shut, simply lets go of the side of the ship, <laughs> and the ship rights itself. Swaying kind of back and forth, port to starboard, as it settles. Um, and Tootie, you hear one final roar from the creature, although you're not entirely sure of the context behind it. It shouts, Mmm, much better. <laughs> Before the dragon turtle simply... Wanders away. Himself. I feel like I'm panic because it leaves. It probably ate one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! If I had jumped off the ship, it probably would have just followed me. <laughs> That'd have been terrible. What type of bait did you have? Um, uh, some damn good bait. Some damn good bait. I wanted something big, and I guess that's what we got. Exciting, eh? Those things usually go after treasure on ships. That was like that 
I maybe that's maybe that hordes uh, stinky fish. Maybe that's what that dragon hordes. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> a few moments go by with yourselves and the crew waiting to see if it by chance comes back, but it does not. You're able to continue along your merry way, and after a uh, look over the ship, Captain Scarlet announces she'll need repairs once you arrive at your destination, but otherwise, you are still seaworthy. And the journey continues. Heck yeah. <laughs> that whose turn is it to roll? <laughs> For the sake of time, as we're already an hour and a half in... <laughs> Hey, we fought for our fucking <laughs> lives. <laughs> I got what I wanted. All for a little bit of bait. Yeah. I caught a big one, didn't I? <laughs> I thought it was one of the magical items we had or something awesome. No. Fish. <laughs> right. Over the next two days, the rest of you pretty well without incident. And before long, you begin to see green on the horizon. As you approach, notice that greenery becomes rolling hills, all completely covered except for the shoreline and very small amount of land between the shore and the fort. Just completely covered. Penetrable from to the eye from this distance. You also see signs of civilization. A relatively large port city that Scarlet tells you is your destiny. The elven city of Lyran. Finally. Let me see. The ship mm. approaches, finds a place to dock. You are able to, for the first time in several weeks, step off of the constantly moving and shifting boat onto nice, stable, dry land. Ooh. Yay! The ocean sucks. That was fun, though. I didn't get hurt once. Let me see. Do we have a map or anything, or no? Sorry. You indeed have. Ooh. Right. Just to see what everything looks like. Yep. Oh, I just realized there's a notes tab in uh, this yes, BTP. There is. Wow, yes. I could have been using this for months. Yes. I'm going to start using it now. You guys don't have What, the journal entry? And... Um, you guys able to see now, or is it? No, I'm oh, blind. Dark. Perfect. Holy moly! It's fairly large. Built on the. Outermost edge of Sylvan. You know very little about. Uh, 
but this map mm. does not represent. Okay. Use a new map generator for this. I don't think. I'm... Oh, the... Attack on Titan vibes. What's the city's name? Byron. Top left corner. As you step off the ship, notice that it is uh, quite busy. A lot of hustle and bustle, just like you would expect from a port town. And you are kind of surprised to notice there are lots of people here, lots of different people, various. Although there are also plenty of elves. A little sinister on here. <laughs> I was like, man, this is a dark and dread city. No, no, it's actually quite bright and full of life. No, no. Already, if that's the type of city this is, I don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> you can definitely oh, yeah. tell, though, as you step off the ship, that the part of town that you're in is primarily inhabited by non elves. A lot of the buildings here are made in various styles that you've seen elsewhere in the world. Um, but beyond that, you can see much fancier buildings deeper in the city are um, more elven. They're almost completely made out of wood, uh, and they are elaborately carved various decorative inlays to it. Everything is very, very fancy. So, oh. have arrived at your destination. New it's city. It's a fancy one. Is relative, well, except for the part of town that you're in. Slums. Not, not slums. They're not... Uh, at least where you're at right now don't seem to be like, people down on their luck. It's just... Not different. the nice area? It, it's just... <clears throat> it's a part of class. town inhabited by a different... different culture. A mix of different cultures. Whereas beyond, it is very much elven culture. Sure. Man... All that being said. Yeah. Jimmy. Why can't you find a shop? What kind of shop are you looking for? Um probably a potion spell shop. Something that'll sell some magical stuff. We do need potions. I don't remember what our mission is. We're searching mm -hmm. for uh, the guy that attacked us, right? Our yeah. goal is to kill one of the generals. Your job, as it were, to find out what the hunter is doing in the region, put a stop to it, eventually um, take out opportunity. Straight to the bar. That's where I'm heading. Okay. You confidently stride off of the dock of the ship, headed for the bar, realize New Town, you don't know where anything is. Exactly. 
So I'm just going to kind of walk around. Okay. Looking for anything that resembles bar, cavern. Okay. In this part of town, you very quickly run across such an establishment. The sign outside shows that the tavern's name is the Drunken Drew. And you like it shows oh. a uh, characterized um druidic looking elf kind of leaning over. <laughs> Can you like point on the map where that might be general area? Druid right along. Okay. Relatively small staff. Yeah. I just want to know where I headed. There By the go. time you've docked, it's getting close to afternoon. Interesting. Four o'clock. Uh, our patron said that there were, he had people in the city for us to contact. Um, did anyone remember how to contact them or? He no. said that they would, the party. we would be able to. They should have been here to meet us at the port. I thought. Cool. Uh, uh, we I have sending, well, well, we have sending stones, so we can send a message and let them know that we're here. That'd probably be a wise idea, huh? Correct. Keep in mind, you can only send one message per day. Oh. It's ten 25. words. Yes. Twenty-five. Cool. Does our 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 guild or not our guild, but our this I forget I don't know what the right word is establishment or our connection do they don't have like symbols and crests or anything like that I could look around for? Um, if you do, if they do, if they use some sort of like symbol, like thieves can't almost. Mm -hmm. We're not sure what it is. You were not brought up in the. Yeah. Got you. There was no cool. on the job training. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what else is new? <laughs> All right, then I'll just follow Tootie to the tavern. I mean, if Halion wants to use a sending stone, I can hand it over to him. I'll take it. Okay. Yes, uh, make sure everyone. Yes. I don't think we can click on our characters. Is there well, another way to do it? Well, we'll take care of that. Okay. Go how, how many words can it be? 25. 25? Oh, that's easy. Awesome. I thought it was like 10. I was staying concise. Kill <laughs> music. Boom, boom. Just uh, speaking anagrams. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Anagrams? Fuck. An anagram is when a word is just jumbled up and you have to figure out what it is. You have to unjumble it to figure out what it is. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Acronyms. There we go. <laughs> My man meant to say acronyms. It's been a long day. I know. It's okay. I still love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what do we see in the tavern? 
Anything interesting happening? Uh, do you enter? Yeah, I follow Tootie in. Okay. Uh, at this point in time, um, you're just before, like, peak business starts up. Taverns. Um, so there are a few patrons kind of side. Um, let's see. Oh. Uh, inside, you see a couple of what appear to be humans sitting at a table. Um, they have the general slightly disheveled bugs sitting in town waiting around for something to pop up. They do notice you all coming in and kind of give a passing glance over. Don't seem to. Behind the bar is a half-elven man. Looks to be uh, preparing lots of glasses as he gets time. Sees you all coming in, kind of gives you a nod, but doesn't say anything. We're back. The establishment is not exactly uh, well to do. Very disheveled. A lot of the tables and chairs are mismatched. Ah. I want to go get a drink. Yeah, I'm just going to sit at the bar. Or at a table. Okay. Uh, the yeah, I want to order. To sit at if you sit at the bar. I would prefer to sit at the bar. Is it just me and 2D, or did you guys come in to the bar tavern? Unless otherwise specified, I assume everyone. Pretty much, yeah. I thought they were going. Oh. I thought someone was going to get potions or whatever. I'm gonna order a round of shots for my party to kind of make up for uh, you know, almost killing us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah. they quite correlate, but. Uh, we're all good now. Shots for all six of you? Yeah. All right. Five silver. Okay. Setting out the glasses. Uh, pouring out a uh, six shots from a bottle that the label belongs in. Slides the to you. I hand him out. <laughs> hey, we, we made it back to land. And I just, you know, I take a shot. You're here. Um, Someone roll me a D100. I oh, never mind. never mind. I found I found the one. There we go. You use your... Hey. You have to fill it up. Yes, I do. Okay. Can I roll one just for fun? <laughs> um, I'll if you guys go to another bar, I'll. Epic. I I was like, what drink are you? I have a, I have a list. You just have you one of those. One? Yeah. And I was looking. I was like, what kind of what kind of drink would this place sell? And I like. Immediately looking down the page, is like, ah, that's the one that they would sell. Um, yeah. As you are given the shots, you know, you notice that it is a very opaque brown liquid, strong smelling. And you think you see small chunks of something. I'm just going to hold on to mine. I'm taking mine now. Can you go ahead and drink it? Oh, yeah. It is strong. 
is strong in tastes of musty dirt and mushrooms. Mm. Mushrooms. In fact, the chunky bits inside of it have the same kind of texture. In fact, the chunky bits are just mushrooms. I think Halion likes mushrooms. It's not terrible, but it smells awful. You see, I'm okay with that. It's cheap. It's cheap. <laughs> cheap liquor. And I have my tankard, so I don't care. Cheap liquor's the best kind, though. Do all drinks. Me. I, I do. I'll do Mitchell up again. Take it down. I'll do it. Make a constitution. Gosh darn it. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of drink. It's one drink. We'll be fine, right? Do I need to roll? No. Okay. You're tankered. I thought so. I just want to double check. Nullified. Perfect. Haha, uh, I can win all the drinking games. Ragnar and Callum. You drink it. And it goes down okay, but yeah. you're kind of left with a feeling like throughout the rest of the evening. Something like kind of unsettled, you know? Like it just doesn't quite. Sit. You don't throw it up. Or anything. But, yeah, it's it's definitely cheap liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Well, I guess we should get rooms, or or we can just stay at the ship, right, in the dock. As far as your. Uh... Or, Ford was. Yeah, your deal with Scarlet. She was just bringing you here. Oh. Yeah, well, we need a room for the night. Had also room need to use some... for the trip. By the way, um, Scarlet had pulled you aside before you arrived and made the second half because of your help with. Awesome. Yay. Get off with a little bit of extra. And we didn't have to tell her that it was all because of us that the Dragon Turtle showed up. <laughs> so, if you are planning on staying in the city, then you fire lodge. Uh, so I asked the bartender, "Is there anywhere uh, to to sleep around here? Any any inns?" Kind of looks over at you guys. And says, well, I think I got two rooms. Right now, two gold a night. How much gold a night? Two. two. Is that... I could afford that. I know, but is that overpriced? Man, yeah, it's fine. We've been we've been at sea for how long? Like, <laughs> all right. A nice bed would be nice. I'll pay two gold. Same. I got. We have a bunch of gold. Yeah. Pray well, you need but... any entertainment at this end tonight? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I happen to be a traveling bard, you see. And if you'd be willing to cut a little bit of a discount on the rooms for me and my crew here, I'd be willing to perform. He kind of looks you over and just, uh, huh. you and just about every other person that walks in through these doors. I won't stop you, but uh, I'm not paying you. Fair enough. He's I just ask that I keep the tips. There if you're not paying way. me, I shouldn't have to pay the house. Fair. I ask, uh, is there anywhere quieter to stay in town? Yeah, you can go uptown if you want. Those if you want. Audiness. Elves in that. Elves are really nice. All I, all I hear is hot in elves. <laughs> Haughty. 
<laughs> where the hotties at? Where the <laughs> horror house is at? I'm sure the open every night might get carried away. Hey, what is? Um, I'll um ask him if, if there's anywhere we can uh, earn some coin. I don't feel comfortable with the party anymore. <laughs> well, you're stuck with them. Now. <laughs> yeah. Vampire, what do you want me to do? Not comment that elves are hot. They are. <laughs> he uh. He kind of leans in, kind of lowers his voice, and says, "Sure, some opportunity. You're not um, scrupulous about." Hmm. I kind of grab uh, my turtle friend, kind of bring him in. I said, "We're listening." Why does Lonnie all of a sudden sound like he's talking through a fucking 2003 microphone? Why am I dragging I this? Know. I just want somewhere quiet. <laughs> My notes here. One second. Well, he said shady, and you came to mind. So listen then. There's a, there's a guy who frequents the bar here. Name of Garrick O'Fallon. Notes. He's always in need of hired muscle. He helps charter merchandising merchant trips. Paths through the woods are dangerous. Section. Ooh, interesting. That's definitely uh up my alley. What uh what what's makes uh what makes the woods so dangerous uh from your experience? Beyond those walls, that isn't just like any other forest you'll find in the world. It's enchanted. Square inch. Uh, that sounds exciting. But and again, here they're not letting anybody through the gates right now. No. Can you show on the map what gates he's referring to? Uh, like... Any any gates leading out. Oh no. I just changed you. Okay. And then, did he tell us where we could find him? Uh, in this same bar. Uh, okay. Oh, he, he comes here often. Okay. He doesn't come here every night, but he's here pretty. Bye. Interesting. Well, uh, what does he look like? He's a little halfling fellow. Smartly dressed. Likes to wear a top hat. I'll be on the lookout. <laughs> With that, he kind of resumes his mm. I go back to the party and I and I say I may have picked up a lead, at least I don't know, a way to get out of the city. Uh, if I know the uh, from from what I know about the man, did we get a name for the the hunter? Yeah, from, uh, from what, no. yeah, from what I know about the hunter, um, that that might uh, we might be able to pick up his trail this way. Interesting, nonetheless, might earn some money. It looks like he just needs protection, and I kind of fill them in on on my conversation with the uh, the innkeeper or the the bartender. Well, the best play play for us to move around in would definitely be under the cover of jobs. So I think that's a good idea. Agreed. No need for us to draw attention to ourselves. We really are just a vagabond group anyway. 
A ragtag bunch to miss. Let's keep it that way. We gotta keep an eye on the turtle then. Huh? <laughs> Don't go steal from anything out here, please. And if you keep do, it's yourself. Yeah. And you like know, maybe maybe keep the thieving to the human, not <laughs> elf area of the city. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I say as I walk out the bar, heading to the elf area of the city. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wanna... Before we go on this job, though, we should probably get some more uh, potions. <laughs> that dragon really did uh, some work on us. For that turtle. And I would like to try to find get hottie. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. Yeah. Uh, I would like to find a magical item shop, too, if possible. It'd be nice. Okay. Uh, remember that magical items aren't necessarily sold shops a lot of the time. Fair. Yeah, not not everybody is like the guy from the fishes, where that, that's literally passion, and that's what he does with his that, and that's fair. I guess I just got used to him. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we go back to Ulfgrond. Get back on the boat and go back. Yep. That's <laughs> um, yeah, fine. Just learn the teleportation spell. Yeah, gonna... And travel there. So you have a teleportation circle. Travel there whenever you want. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask the bartender if he can, like, Give us a general layout of the uh, city. Is it divided in districts? Is it divided by class? It's not divided, per se. I mean, it's everything just scattered. Just some information. So, Alright, so you get the sensation that pretty much the, this area is drawing. It's not only outsiders, but it's regulated to the traveling merchants, people that are not from. Yeah. The rest of the city is. Quote unquote elven terror. Mm. Okay. Hey, can we go uh, uh, to a potion shop or something? Probably just go th through different merchant stalls, honestly, would be the best bet in that situation. Yeah, any, any merchants. Know. It don't matter. The, uh... You can spend the rest of the evening here. Whatever you can find. Yeah, I'd like to purchase another potion of healing. Well, let's see if there are any available. Well, yeah. Uh, because as they said, yeah, you'll have to find a traveling merchant. There are no dedicated shops in town. Are there weapon shops in town? Then I will go look. I, uh... As I walk out of the bar and set my shot down at some random dude's table. I didn't find any potions, guys. I well, think I found my weapons. I I found We're something. all gonna die. I'll <laughs> trade your rolls. Wait, what I miss? Eddie's restroom. What happened? I'm just a better duelist, Lonnie. Places to buy things. Yeah, we're look I was looking for potions in this area. I'm He's looking, looking for, for weapons. weapons. <laughs> Those are our rules. Um, for potions, somebody roll me a D100. Dude, you're looking for a weapon shop? Yeah. 
Looking around, you do find just kind of a general wares shop. They do have a few things. What exactly are you? Uh, crossbow. Roll me e twenty. Okay. Shit. <laughs> was it was it just r slash? Slash, or was it? slash roll. Okay. Base d one d twenty. They do have. A uh, a kind of like second hand looks to be in a little okay. bit of a shape. Can I say how much would it be? How much is it? Fifty gold. Uh, light crossbow. Uh, fifteen gold pieces. Does it come with arrows? Uh, nope, you'll have to buy them yourself. You can get a quiver uh, of bolts for a gold. Okay. Could I trade one of my swords for it? What kind of sword is it? A short sword. Take the short sword off of you. Seven gold. Okay. to pay the oh. difference of that you can... sure i'll take one of them off and i'm gonna up i'm just gonna update this in freaking D, D beyond yes add it in D, D beyond all those updates there and then you can just uh emilio rolled a 66 that means you are able to find a potion seller. He has a decent availability awesome. of potions. So yeah, healing potions. Oh shit. <laughs> Welcome. Those are all of the potions that are available. One, we'll have to look into how many of those specific potions they have. I just a um, regular. What's C healing? Oh, that's just common. Common. It's common. Just, yeah. If it says C, it's a common potion. Uncommon are common potions are going to run you fifty gold. Oh, so fifty gold for his only potion of common healing. He he probably has several of those. Roll in D, but pop uncommon are two hundred fifty gold to pop. Rare potion five hundred. Damn, I really wanted that clairvoyant potion too, but fuck. Giant, giant strength, <laughs> superior healing. Wow, heroism. That's pretty good. Heroism is good. Have nine. I'd like to buy two of his nine. Full 100 gold. Yeah, yeah. How much is the heroism potion? It's 2,500. Uh, no, I'm good. Let me see. I used one to res. Yeah, I'll buy two common ones then too while I'm at it. He said it's 100 gold? 100 yeah. gold for two. Okay, let me subtract like it from D&D Beyond. Let's see. Remove 100 gold. Sad. So if I get the potion of demunition, does that mean I get even tinier? Yes. Oh. 
Yes. I'll buy two as well. Uh, anybody wanting to buy any other potions? Uh, I'll take one healing, common healing potion. That brings him down to uh, four left. How much does a potion of gaseous form cost again? I'm sorry. Gaseous form is a rare. It's going to be 2,500. Okay. Pretty much. Oh, it's a bit pricey. You'd be half the size you are right now, River. I know. So and then go from small to tiny. And let's eight, go. Eight. And then we could chunk you. Can I get it cast on me twice? It'd be diminutive. Yes. <laughs> I don't know you if just... you can have it cast on me twice. I think it, I think only one uh, spell. Can yeah. Be. Yeah, spells. Yeah. Unless you had another way to shrink yourself, that was a different spell. Wait, I don't see a potion of... What is diminution? Is that the diminution that you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. diminution. Diminution. Yeah, which is a large reduced spell. Oh, it is rare, though. What were the uncommons again? The uncommons were... 250, 250. I think. Let me double check. Yeah. There's a potion <laughs> of growth. I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm... Regular size. Can I just throw a <laughs> into the air? Cast growth on him, and then he does Bowser down B. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> without my, without me knowing. Do just water you breathing. Do. Uh, I do not. I do not. Can I? Can I get the unpotion? The what potion? The unpotion. Unpotion. <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the, the disguise potion of poison. Is that what you're I think about? it's a no. I think this is a like when you effect the removal. Potion, any effects you have been caused by poisons or potions of rarity equal to or lower than the unpotions rarity end immediately. In addition, you are immune to the effects of any and all poisons or potions equal to or less than the unpotions ready that you uh, imbibe for the duration of 12 hours. Interesting. Uh, that is not one he has. I'm on the list. So. <laughs> <laughs> it is a vial with, filled with vile black liquid that tastes like perfectly seasoned cooked chicken. <laughs> what the fuck? How many uh, greater healing potions does he have? Um... Yes. Oh, one. The, I will buy that one. 250 gold, it's all yours. I'm okay with that. I just need the one potion. I'm good. Cool. There's shopping to be done. Hmm. Not with the amount of money I have. No, I'm good. I'm po. Are there any whorehouses nearby? God damn it. <laughs> whorehouses? Yeah. You can probably it's a brothel, find a sir? brothel. Yeah. Sorry. It's a, I mean, it's it's a brothel. It's, it's, yeah, I think so. I mean... Uh, a, a house of lady favors? <laughs> yes. You absolutely could find. <laughs> awesome. What do I got to roll? <laughs> oh gosh, that's a plus zero. Can I get some Bardic, Bardic Inspiration? Here. Right, I don't need it. Yeah. No, it, you can't. 
<laughs> By the time you find one, the sun has well and true. Oh, so it's the perfect time for a brothel. Uh, you are able to find a house of ill repute. Are you wishing to partake in the wares, so to speak? <laughs> are you trying to yeah. carouse right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do I, mean, that. I guess the, I guess depending on how much they are, that could be a cheaper room to stay in for the night. Yeah, let's see how much those are. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> you have to pick the right. <laughs> All right, Chris, I'm going to need you to do the role play for the whole thing. You ready? Nope. No. <laughs> nope, he says. We are going to count this as uh, the carousing downtime activity. Yep. What is that? So if you would like to dedicate your night to this, you may make this roll. Okay. Okay. Um, spend their uh, downtime engaged in a variety of hedonistic activities, such as attending parties, binge drinking, gambling, <laughs> Or anything else that helps them cope with the perils they face on their adventures. I think this falls under that uh, that latter category. Yeah, been at sea so. for weeks, especially after those perils. I was thinking the turtle was the bigger issue than being at sea for two weeks. But okay, do you do you? Let's see what this is going to cost you for the night. <laughs> More money than he's got. Can't be that much. Which one do you get? $5 make you holla, you remember? Six gold. Oh, yeah. For, for oh. one night, six gold. I'm going back to What the about center. for the full GF experience? The full GF. <laughs> that, I think that's what it is, right? I want the, the high end. The <laughs> I want the full package, the high end deal. Okay. Uh, um, culture. Roll. How much is the full package? Roll me a D100. The half one? You. Oh, shit. The carouser. The landerer. <laughs> oh, make no mistake. I'm with his ass. Uh, John. Oh, you're going to? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. I want I want the most luxurious fucking ex or not luxurious, but I want the best experience I can get right now. Okay. Um the full GF experience. That's actually a pretty good result. Uh, go ahead and make me that same roll, River. See what happens with you. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I'm just going to run off his fucking... You're going to get a bad. Nope. That's not so bad. You actually end up in the same... Yay. Same bracket. So. This house of ill repute is... Not just a brothel. It is also somewhat of a gambling hall. Yay! And trying to go into... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you're ripping it off. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was told that already on Discord. <laughs> yes, I am aware. I'll fix it next Um, The two of you um, disappear into the brothel for the and uh, gamble and carouse throughout the night. And I will leave it up to your imaginations on how your evening goes when you retire. Damsel. Damsel, yes. Your or choice woman of... of uh, woman or man of the night? Of the night, I would say your choice of uh, company. Name or damsel. The elves are rather progressive. Here. Can I roll to see how well I did at some gambling? Uh, so that's part of that roll that you made. Okay. Uh, you both earn modest winnings from your gambling in the earlier part of the evening, and you recuperate the same expenses that you spent or take. Nice. Yeah. Worth it. Can I get a, a well-rested bonus? <laughs> there is no well-rested no. bonus for sleeping with a prostitute. 
<laughs> or like even like sure a vampire. Not uh, just kidding. You can get an STD check. All right, making. <laughs> I don't want to get this. We're playing D and D fifth edition. We're not playing Fatal. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right. Um, oh god. Fatal you is. Don't want to. Yeah, just just look it up. Look it up. Yeah. Give it, give it once over. That's weird. We'll move on while we're on stream here. Oh yeah, go ahead. Move on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to side, you know, fantasy. Oh. Side fantasy. I don't know if that was the right choice of words for that, but you know. Um okay. <laughs> Down bad. All right. Uh, <laughs> so at some point, you're not entirely sure when the rest of you feel like and Haley and just fuck off. <laughs> what do uh what do your you other four do in your first night in Byron. Uh, I want to see if they're. Do they have like the temple of Enrathis? There is all? no temple to Enrathis city. Uh, Find out. Themes of mm. rape fantasy or racism. The elves have a <laughs> a slightly different relationship. Hmm. But are there temples here? There are temples here. There's a temple to Sylvanas. There is a temple to uh, Ayun. Hmm. Okay. There's an old defunct temple to Tehanin. I want to go there. It looks wacky. Abandoned. It is a thing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to it still. I'll go with you. Yeah. Okay. You approach the building. It's uh, it's very much unlike a lot of the other buildings in the town. It is made with a white marble stone. Not sure. It has been. Unused for quite some. Huh. Want to go inside? Yeah, I say so. I well, I guess um, I'll bow my I'll bow my head for a moment of respect and then enter. Okay. Enter. Oops. There are no lights inside, but. It's it's almost kind of constructed in sort of like a greco roman style mm. lots of columns along the outside letting in some natural light there is an inner sanctum that is completely walled off but it is further in the complex um the several of the columns around the outside have kind of decayed over time and look rough shape now, you mm. imagine if something hit the column hard enough it would pop a little lot of the structure. Huh. Very good time. The sea air coming off of the Yeah. The thick layer of dust. And any bits of furniture or maybe old shrines have long since been turned over destroyed, graffitied on, otherwise. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could stay here for the night. Hmm. It's free. Free room and board. Not Just the most comfortable, but... Quite unlikely. If they seem to hate it here. They just... Defaced everything and destroyed it, so might as well. I mean, she's well, dead. What's she gonna do? <laughs> the destruction around, I... doesn't seem like it's hate. If they hated this place. They would've just torn it down. Just... in ill repair because it hasn't been used or taken care of. And I mean... <laughs> probably a popular... hangout for... Uh... Teenagers and other ne'er-do-wells. 
or the homeless like us. Seems like a good fit for us then. We're not homeless, we're away from home. <laughs> I mean, potato, potato. I kind of want to go further in, but I feel like I'm just not going to find anything. I mean, we can. Let's go. Try and make our way towards the inner sanctum. But the inner sanctum uh, closed. Yeah. Large set of doors that are intricately various mm. and a feminine standing in the middle of it with the various phases of the moons kind of arcing over artwork carved into. Does that mean anything to us or to me? I don't know about him. Let's check. Yeah. What would that be under? Mm. Or is it? Uh, I didn't know that was a skill. That's it's cool. Jack shit to me. I'm it's with you guys. If you want, I could do a religion check. I have plus six. Oh, now you're with us, huh? You weren't with huh. us earlier. Sorry, I just this... got back. <laughs> this temple is dedicated to some sort of. Moon day. Oh, <laughs> dang! Mm. That, oh, she must I'm be on her period. God, I'm at the stop. Nice <laughs> stop. Tell us, is getting muted. <laughs> would Callum know anything or no? Uh, you would know from your studies. The Hanin was a deity that fell during the Dark Age. Ah, uh, yes. I hear she had great moon armor. <laughs> no, you don't understand, Jacob. <laughs> oh, you don't even know the half of it, Jacob. You don't understand. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Okay, no, no, it's fine. Not me. But she's no longer alive, correct? That seems to be the case. I mean, darn. who really knows? Can I knock There's, on the door? Hold on, you're about to make a lot of people angry. I'm Be talking careful. about in this. <laughs> I know. In game, uh, in game. I'm not making calls. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not making a. Shooty. Can I tap on the door and see if it's locked? You knock. The sound of the knocking. Echoes a bit. Okay. Can I push and slash pull the door to see if it opens? Uh, there are no handles, so you have to assume that it is. It's difficult. It feels like it, it will move. Quite heavy. Let's push together. Yeah, that sounds a lot better than me punching it. So yes, I think that's a good call. What All is of us. Or find... uh... Um. I have eight and a minus one on rolls, just so you know. I have 12 and a plus one. Um. Looks like this one is I my strength. So that's a... T yeah. So with a 32, are able to put your backs into it and slowly, grindingly push the doorway in. Um, once you are inside, you realize that the doors work off of sort of counterbalance system, and mm. uh, that system has long since rotted away. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of this inner sanctum room is uh, what appears to be like the main temple. Um, it too is dust. Most things have been hmm. 
It's already been looted. It certainly seems that. But this would be an even. It would. Day of the night. If... I think I do want to do that. Can I make an investigation check to just to look around and see in this room? Sure. So, um, the room is rectangular shape. Um, is it is wide. Okay. Uh, there is what appear to be old benches. Most of the middle is kept fairly open, and towards the very end of this corridor-like room is a decently sized shrine. Sahani. She is standing before a carving of. The moon in its various phases is almost intersecting. You have like waxing and mm -hmm. intersecting to make the full moon. Mm. A statue of the deity herself uh, stands in front of it, clad in armor and wielding a long sword. Perfect. Well, I see the place I'm sleeping has on one of those benches. So I guess I'll go over and I'll try to see if they seem sturdy enough for standard body weight. Yeah, I'm going to start setting up camp almost. Benches Could we are... inform our colleagues? Well, see, that's the thing. Um, two of your colleagues, Haleon <laughs> and Tilly, just fucked off at one point and are doing Fragnir's things that are doing something. Eggmere's just wandering. Wandering about the city, so you're not with this group? Nope. Okay, that's fine. We'll get to what you have come across. Yeah. Alright, fine. Before we start wrapping it up. Starting to get... yeah. Is there any markings on the wall? Like, trying to use my thieves camp to see any... Anything? Do you want me to roll for that? Uh, Yeah, make a perception check. But you see various scratches again, graffiti most of the time, mm -hmm. just scratched in some, some benches. Um, some of it in script that you do not understand. Yeah, a lot of elven script here. But, uh, as far as the benches themselves, they do appear to be they creak a little under the weight. Old have seen very, very little in the way for the long years. They are still serviceable. They were well crafted. Perfect. Try to do a train before you turn in for the evening. I think I'm good. I'll just walk up and Put a coin on the statue. I, mean, I guess I'll I'll make a prayer to a uh, Bahamut, but that's about it. Okay. Ragnar, as you are sure. wandering about the city, eventually you come upon the path that leads to the main gateway, where you happen upon a small crowd beginning to build, surrounding a number of guards who are posted at. There are voices kind of yelling back and forth to one another. As you get closer, you get the you get the semblance that um, the origin of the argument is that the guards are no longer letting anyone pass, elves or otherwise. Damn. Uh. I'm going to go up to someone nearby and ask what's going on exactly. Uh, you find an an, uh, an elven man who appears to be older, so he must have been around for quite some time. He kind of looks over with a 
a, a sad look in his eyes, kind of shakes his head and um, says, Well, it seems as something has got the guards all riled up. And not letting one anybody in or out city. Odd. Okay. Odd indeed. At first, they simply weren't letting outsiders pass, but those of us who have kin deeper in the woods would be allowed to come and go. Now, we're not even allowed that. They say it is for our safety. I suppose I'm to their words. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. Okay. Uh, and I push through the crowd to try to talk to the guards. Yep. As you get closer, you can kind of make out some of the voices speaking. Um, the guardsmen are all in uh, studded um, leather armor, studded with long... The armor they're wearing is called splint mail. So it's long metal strips kind of attached to uh, leather armor underneath. Um, very, very fancy. Elven in make, so it is very aesthetic. Uh, the one at the head of the group actually has his helmet removed and is kind of holding it uh, at his side as he argues with a woman and kind of, kind of made her way apart from the crowd and is pleading with the girl. Please, please, my family is still out there. I need to get back to them. Sorry, ma'am. For your own safety, we cannot let anyone outside of the gates at this time. But I assure you, as soon as the problem has been resolved, we will open up the gates again. You hear another man's voice cry out from the crowd, a uh, human. He says, What about us? I need to get my carts moving through here, otherwise this whole trip is wasted. I'm sorry, sir. As I have told you before, outsiders are not to be allowed outside of the city unless they are given special permission from Guard Captain Lorelei or Elder Zaras. Okay. Uh, make note. Yeah, I'm making notes right now. <laughs> Uh, can I go ask the guard like, if he can give me any more information about what's going on and if there's any way I could potentially help as I am an adventurer? Uh, as you approach, he kind of gives you over. Says, I am sorry, outside. Not doing this to cause anyone any trouble. We are merely trying to keep everyone safe. As for wanting to help, I am not at liberty to discuss the situation that is happening outside of the walls. But, like, I speak with either my, my captain, Lorelei, or the elder. Sir. I will do just that, then. He gives you uh, direction to uh, their various places business and lets you know that since it's so late they probably will not be available all right first light then maybe yeah green here will be elder okay. yeah. and the guards barracks are Purple. Okay. Within short order, the guards implore everyone to return to their homes, and begrudgingly, they all do. I guess I wander to find an inn, some place to rest. We'll relay this message in the morning. 
okay. the others whenever I find them. What kind of what kind of place are you looking for? Some something cheap, something decent, or something that's maybe a little fancy? Uh, decent. Decent. Yeah. You find yourself at an establishment called Yourless Hearth. Yourless Hearth. Uh, at which a room is going to cost you you a whopping three gold a night. No, that's not okay. But it is a it is a nice room, and it is uh, a room to yourself. Nice. Even better. So yeah. we have a couple of folks sleeping in uh, the abandoned temple of Sahanin. We have losers. Maybe not getting much sleep. sleep. sleep and then for the Ragnar, week. who has uh, taken a nice little place. <sighs> Morning, it will be a new day. You all each get your various levels of rest uh, after surviving the trials that you've had so far and now really and truly embarking upon your uh your new journey all advance level six level up yeah mom hey i could finally I don't be really a do that badass oh manage character yes yeah, her I can do one more hit point, right? And I do need to make one more roll. We will not get into it tonight. Yeah, we don't have a name for a group yet. Be something to bring up. Yeah, that is something that y'all might want to come up with. Right now, you guys are just Team Alpha. Um, Judy, Callum, Bath and Lord. I want you guys to just roll me a flat d20. Gosh, no, that's the coding aspect. Stop. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> Um, will you two go ahead and roll me same check one more time? Yeah. Hello. That night, in the relative safety of the dead deity's shrine, or visit by a dream. Time. That. Oh, so <laughs> that shouldn't be a feat. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Someone's in your dreams, Keith. Ooh, yeah, level six is perfect. All I get is more can my cantrips do damage, even if it they succeed on a saving throw, which is nice. You know the spell people. slot too. That's after a long night at the brothel, my inner self has awakened. Gluttony <laughs> is not showing up again. Nah, I got somebody else. That's all you God. needed. Just purchase level one. <laughs> Poor man. I don't know. <laughs> well, now I run at 50 feet per movement, so that's awesome. It's just 
How are we feeling on time? Start winding down. I'm good. good. Sleep is for the week. So I went to a brothel. I just know Emilio to be. I'll be yeah. okay. We will continue a while longer. Uh, While well, you guys are leveling up, though, I'm just going to play for well, now my key yeah, yeah. empowered strikes mean I know now my fists are magical. And yeah, she's magical, magical hands. <laughs> hey, I got magical hands now, too. What level of monk are you at? Level three. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You'll see. <laughs> And my hands of healing can go and remove a disease. Or move blind, death, paralyzed, poison, or stunned. My hands of harm can go and poison you. Cool. Great. One more key as well. Nice. That's cool. A third level spell, and I can now channel my divinity three times. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can channel divinity three times. Oh, yeah. Now I can give people these hands. Which means max damage three times. That's pretty two good. Of those one, with two of those on a short rest reset. That's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. But you get two, two channel divinities back on a short rest? Mm hmm. Nice. And it's your only channel divinity. You have the turn undead as well, right? Or yeah, is it just the uh, yeah, lightning I've damage? Turned, I've turned undead, but I mean, how often is it really going to come up? Oh, not that often. Yeah. Oh. Cool. I didn't realize that, but I guess that's technically what I did over the night. Yep. You don't need to sleep. I don't sleep. Yep. Slavery. It is for the week. Judy tripped and broke his leg. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> What's sad is, is I'm getting low rolls and now I'm proficient in like fucking three things. You have, you have a right. plus nine. Yeah. You have a plus nine? He has a plus nine to his acrobatics. And, and he yet, a, a I one. still broke my fucking leg. <laughs> wow. I have a plus eight to my investigation, but I still rolled an 11. <laughs> Do I want the Pact of the Talisman or the Pact of the Tome, y'all? Oh, God. You're wrong. I got you, bro. Well, depend. Uh, what spells did you take? Do you get another spell at level three? Mm -hmm. You get you get another spell uh, when you level up. You should get like second level warlock casting. You get the yeah, choose level three. Yeah, I should. Uh, let's see. Because I'll get. Scorching Ray from being a, G a Jin automatically. And Pact of the Tome, Pact of the Chain lets you summon a devil, right? Pact of the Chain lets me cast 
find familiar. Find familiar, yeah. When you cast a spell, you can choose one of the normal forms you're familiar with, one of the following forms, Imp, Pseudo Dragon, Quasite, or Sprite. Additionally, when you take attack action, you can throw all on attacks with a familiar attack upon reaction. And you can cast spells through them as well, right? Like touch spells? If so. Uh-huh. Mm, interesting. And then the Pact of the Tome. What does that even do? I don't remember. Pact of the Tome just gives me three free cantrips. Really? Yeah. I thought it did more than that. Maybe um, at higher, higher levels. On this book on your person, you can cast the those cantrips at will. They don't count against your number of cantrips known. They don't appear on the Warlock's list. They're never, never, nonetheless Warlock spells for you. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you also get two invocations, dude. Wow. You can do some crazy shit now. With my level? Yeah. Yeah, level three, you get two invocations, which are like. I thought that was at the second level. At their level. Eldric invocations? Yeah. That's second level. Oh, is it second level? Yeah, I already have those. Oh, what'd you take? Agonizing Blast or Repelling Blast. Oh, I see, I see. So I can cast Eldric Blast. Uh, I add my Charisma modifier to the damage it deals on hit with Eldric Blast. And it also pushes them 10 feet away. Yeah, Pact of the Tome doesn't give you that much, really. I think it gives you invocations at higher levels if you keep going Warlock that you can choose. I would go with the Chain. You can get, like, a Sprite or a Pseudo Dragon or... What's a Quasar? What the fuck is that? A Tiny Fiend. A little bug-like demon. Yeah. It can turn into a bat, centipede, or a toad. I mean, Pact of the Talisman. Whenever the wearer fails an ability check, they can add a d4 to the roll. This benefit can be used a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus. And you can talk to your familiar, right? Yeah. He likes to narrate things sometimes. Yeah, that one seems cooler between the two. I don't know what invocations you get at higher level for the other one. I don't see anything that allows me to get invocations from that. Like, so there's invocations that are, have prerequisites, right? Like uh, each pact has specific ones you can only mm. grab. You have to go through the listing and the warlock features in uh, D and D Beyond. There's a talisman feature. Fifth level, fifteenth hex. Yeah, so packs of the chain feature you get. You can bonus action attack with it. Like you could technically change out one of your invocations right now to enhance packs of the chain to get the bonus action attack that you're familiar. It makes mm -hmm. it magical. It uses your spell save DC for the poison attack instead of it's like 12, default 12. And then you can use your reaction to, to make it take half damage. And it gets a flying speed of 40 feet. That's a invocation you can take now um, as a prerequisite. Let's see, there's another one that says whenever you regain hit points while you're familiar within 100 feet of you, Treat any dice roll to determine the hit points as max rolls. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if you check your, your invocations now, you after choosing Pact of the Chain, there'll be uh, some new ones. Because every time you level up in Warlock, you can switch out your invocations. I don't know if it's worth giving up Repelling Blast, but or Agonizing Blast, but it's uh, still pretty cool. Mono would be better, though. I mean, have you used your... Yeah. 
Your repelling blast, though, do you remember to make them make the save? Is it a save? No, it's automatic. It's not even a save. They just go back 10 feet, right? Yeah, as long as it hits, they just go back 10 feet. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, here's the Pact of the Tome feature. You no longer need to sleep and can't be forced to sleep. You regain the benefits of a long rest. You can spend eight hours doing light activities. That's weak as fuck. What? It just makes you an elf. That's all it does. That's weak. Cool. Yeah, that's the only feature the tome gives you. It's kind of weak. I don't know. Maybe there's a 15th level feature that's pretty cool, but I don't think we're going to get to 15th level, so... Spell I'm so overrated. Yeah, I didn't have any choices to make when I leveled up. Same. What about you, Tootie? Tootie Booty, what'd you get? I got to choose between three proficiencies to make more proficient. <laughs> oh, you're it. you're rogue. Now that's actually pretty good. Like stealth, athletics, acrobatics. I only got to choose between acrobatics, investigation, and perception. Those are all really good, actually. Yeah. So I just went acrobatics and investigation. Perception's um, largely considered the most used because it, anytime you're trying to see something uh, in a dungeon or something, it comes up a lot, I think. But investigation I, comes up a lot too. I feel like find that I've been using investigation more, so I just went with that. Yeah, I my need to use my acrobatics. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I guess if you try to climb, climb something. I guess I don't have to worry about that, right? I just walk up the bitch. No hands, mom. I'm gonna start tightrope walking. Oh, dude, we could make a circus. Yeah, let's get paid. Let's just be a bunch of clowns. Oh, shit. Our characters are in here now. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, we hey, we leveled up, dude, because we had, you know, that uh, well-rested bonus, if you know what I mean. Hmm. <laughs> You're never going to update your character icon? I'm gonna rename your character like Xena. I don't think I can. Why not? It's updated when I click on it, but in the overworld, I can't update the overworld one. Interesting. Which invo invocation did you choose, uh, River? Still trying to decide. Roll a D2. <laughs> ha, mean, next level, you can change it. So maybe you try out something else and let's see if you like it. You're not wrong. How are we doing on level? I'm all done. Yeah, I think most of us are done. Yeah, I'm about to be done. Sorry. I have no choices of mine, so... Same. I pressed two buttons. <laughs> Just awaken my inner... What is that thing that uh, the Native Americans do? Like, when a, when a little boy turns 10, they go send him out to live on the land. It, what is it? Uh, I have no idea. Spirit what is it called? Walk? Yeah, the spirit walk or like the awakening or whatever it's called. And then afterwards, they get high and 
uh, have like astral projection. No, it's not after. It's, it's they, before, they, right? They, yeah, they sure. feed them a bunch yeah. of psychedelics, and then they were like, "All right, go have fun." To see if they could find their their inner <laughs> spiritual like self, uh, right? I think that's also known as hazing, but um, <laughs> since the beginning uh, of time. Jesus. Um. All right. <clears throat> so, as you were all sleeping and or meditating. Callum. Yes. You have. Mm, fuck these Ooh. notes. In this dream, you are seemingly flying. Flying over hills and mountains and forests. Until you are drawn. What starts off as a tiny pinprick of light and the light is flashing uh flashing from gold silver back again okay you realize as you are flying over it seems like time itself is speeding by like a like a time lapse video day to night, and back again, constantly. And whenever the sun is out and moving across the sky, the light is gold, and whenever the moon comes up, the light is You are drawn deeper and deeper into... and closer and closer to the source. When you get there, you are met... A large, almost gem-like structure. The details are fuzzy and hard to make out, but you are pulled almost toward and into the gem. Okay. And as you pass through the surface of it, the silver and gold light fade darkness. Then, as you feel yourself being drawn deep in darkness, there is a new light, a set of lights, two bright red glowing eyes. And as you get closer, the form of massive black furred red eyed. And as it draws closer, it seems to rattle and jerk itself towards you like a dog that's been kept from food for a very long time and has mm -hmm. had something set near to it. It snarls and bites at you, but you realize that you are relatively safe as there is a massive chain wrapped around the neck tethering it to something. It almost seems to just simply disappear into the And just as you begin to get over your fear, you notice one of these chains, the links, begin to fracture. It can tear free into the wolf. It's freed. Or you can run away. Its massive jaws envelop snap down on you and it's at this point in time that you awaken covered in cold sweat as dawn approaches the city of life mm. it's a bad omen got into my ganja did you <laughs> okay the rest of you Awaken after a restful sleep, feeling strengthened by your journey thus far. What now? I feel like uh, we'll, we'll head, back to, uh, head back to the tavern looking for the, um, that halfling guy with the job.
Garrick. Garrick. Yeah, Garrick O'Fallon. O'Fallon? I can't say it right. O'Fallon. O'Fallon. I want to see if I see him there this morning. So you head back to Tavern, Drunken Druid. Okay. As you make your way across, you pass various uh, merchants, uh, similarly in the state of waking up and getting Cooking breakfast. Um, what do the rest of you? Mm, I'm gonna keep my dream to myself for now. They don't I'm gonna know. Pop out of my my bottle <laughs> and oh, say that I'm hungry. Baby. Say that I'm very hungry. Uh, and I'm ready to be imported too, I'm sorry. Okay. You can actually do that. Oh, that's right, that's right. I got it. I know. Maybe. Well, I guess we should go find the other, shouldn't we? Okay, I give up. Remind me how. Um, the D&D Beyond button. Next to your name. Oh, there it is. Okay. D&D that's what needed. Make sure okay, D&D D&D Beyond. Font is selected, and then First, I want to see what these elves have for breakfast. Hmm. You know, I kind of do too. I haven't really been around elves since I was five, and that's been some years. I say we go check it out. Okay. Um, the food here is more of a vegetarian. If you're eating on the yeah. I think my character is a fucking vegetarian. <laughs> Just automatically as a species. I'm with some vegetarian. That sounds good. You okay with that, Callum? I'm okay with that. Lots of leafy greens. Various lentils. It's good. It's just probably lacking in Protein. Protein. That, I mean, you'd still get protein. From beans and some beans. lentils. Yeah. Well, I think so. But uh, it's just, it doesn't have the same kind of flavor profile that you... Get some tofu. Excuse <laughs> me. So, you all eat your breakfast in your various places. Ragmir, are you doing anything in just heading back to the tavern. After a short walk, you are able to back with the elf. As the other three eat their breakfast, what are... I feel like we should ask around town more. Or? About a... Uh... To see if anyone else knows anything about the hunter. Or see if there's any commotion going on around town. If anyone's yeah, seen anything. If there's anything. any commotion or any issues or any rumors or hearsay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make an investigation. Also, who has the sending stuff? I still have it. Yes, he has not given it back to me, has he? You do. No, because I ran off to go to the whorehouse. You uh, you do get a response back, River. Nice. Um, that says Great you tell. are to meet up with an agent named Halder. Last report was of him leaving Lyran. Headed to Aretha. <laughs> Is there like a place we can see the maps of uh, what you call it? Like in our own time window. Um so uh Byron and the map of Sylvanas.
Sylvanas and Lightning should be uh, navigable. Oh, yes. Perfect. I should mention something that you have noticed uh, even during your very short time. The climate here is quite warm and tropical. Okay. It's so nice on my turkey skin, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a change of pace. I mean, where you came from was a much more temperate. Mm. I would like to also ask about, like, surrounding cities. See how they differ. Oh, did our investigation checks discover anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Uh, who who is taking the lead? I guess I will, since I am an elf. You did roll the highest too. Okay. So, asking me around town, the big talk of the town right now is that the guards are not letting anyone, and most people are. They only know what the guards have been telling them, which is that it is safety. However, they do not know what the root cause of it is. You do, however, hear some grumblings that um, this all happened after uh, one of the outsiders' carts had been stopped from leaving the city. I think they found something in the carts that was passing. Mm. Well, Devin, you're the. I'm just taking the hill real fast. Mm. Cool. As far as surrounding cities, um, you get the impression that there's not much in the way of cities per se within Sylvan. These port towns are sort of a exception. Most settlements within the region are more like small villages. Okay. With the exception of a few notable... Just tiny communities, I guess. Small communities. Mm. Stillwin, capital of... is more of what you would expect from a actual city. Mm. Uh, you also are told that Shantae's basket has a fairly sizable city. Um, Amnes and Aeneas here, settlement mountains are actually Old settlements that taken over. Okay. They, they tend to be slightly more populated. And Traitor's Gate is less of a settlement and more of a military. Everything else that's not along the coast. Not those areas. Along the border. Little more than village. Okay. Okay. Wrote that down. I think that's probably the most that we're going to get out of any 
villagers at this time. Normal people, yeah. By the time you finish asking around, it's getting... We probably should head back to the tavern then to go see if... Our f friends are there. Yeah, but I wonder if there's any other ways out of the town. Mm -hmm. Something less direct. Walls are high and thick in it. Towers. Standard um, defensive emplacements. Mm -hmm. Possibly through one of them, although it's... Walls are fairly high. A drop on the other. Question is, could you do it without being spotted? No. I wonder if someone has. We know some sort of contraband or something was discovered to cause it to go and take place. Yeah. I think the only way we could get out without being through the wall is through the water. That sounds a lot more work than necessary. When you arrive at the tavern, uh, the rest of you have already discovered by this point that um, Gallen typically frequents the tavern during the day. He flies into. Where the heck did you two go? I just lost you. Yeah, I went to go get a good night's rest. Mm. Hey, I think uh, we got a message back from um, our patron. Patron, our uh, our boss, our slaver, commanding officer. <laughs> What's the difference, Big Daddy O? What was his message again? Uh, uh, with the were to meet up with Agent Halder. Last reported location was leaving Lyran for uh, um, uh, Retha. Thank you. Retha. What's his name? Agent what again? Halder. 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 Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I I don't think um, the job I have, I don't think he'll be here till later tonight or this evening. So, did you guys uh, pick up any leads on on the hunter? Or at least getting out of town? Well, the three of us learned that the um, there seems to be some unrest inside the city right now because of uh, the outsiders. At this point, I will relay my information. Uh, could you repeat that? <laughs> Basically, they're not letting anybody outside the no one's city. Allowed to leave. Was that all he was told? For the long of the short. I try to figure okay. out more information. We need to go talk to the guards captain or to the village elder. Yeah, yeah. Elder Zaris or Captain Lorelei, uh, if we want to try to help with them or get more information or ask, ask for passage outside the wall. We could look for I guess them. I will take this time to relay some of my information on the whereabouts of uh, the hunter. <laughs> what was I that was again? told Gosh, to yeah, meet were... him in uh, Lafar. Lafar. Yep. It's a town, right? Did approach you and extend an offer for you to. Oh, I remember that. Meet him in Lafar. That's about the gist of it. So, I guess we can head there. Well, then our best bet would then be to go talk to probably the elder first and build up our way from there. Yeah, probably. I'd agree. Sounds I'd good. Car. Um, I'll ask the bartender um, where we could uh, find the guard captain or the elder Zaris. Even though I already have the information. Oh, you you know where they're at? Yes, he does. Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> oh. directions. Either. All right, cool. marked on the map. 
<laughs> oh, they literally have guard barracks. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, God. Okay. 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 It's okay. He's not the brightest. All right. We're two first. I vote the elder. A second. Yeah. I would... you know, for an immortal, you're not very wise. <laughs> Sorry, I stepped away for a little bit. No, you're fine. I'm just fucking with you, dude. Okay. So. I did the same thing there. Your plan is to meet up with the elder and see. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Byron. Can he get some assistance or something? Yeah. Okay. So, within short order, you were able to leave the tavern and make. Which, um, there are actually several elders who preside city. However, the main, the, the head elf in charge, if you will, is an elf by the name of Theros. He has his own office that is a three-story building. Uh, the bottom floor of which is somewhat of like a reception. There is an elf uh, working the desk. Uh, looks to be a young man. Looks to be maybe in his late teens, twenties. Okay. Human, but hard to tell how old. He is. Take it away, Tootie. Not Tootie. Emberfoot. Huh? Oh, it sounds like you want Tootie to be the face. Okay. Yeah, like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Ripperoni. Ripperoni. What's, what's my charisma at right now? <laughs> Still eight. Still eight. Still eight. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, he sees you all kind of file your way in. Uh, Yes, I'm sorry. Can I help you? Did you have an appointment with Elder? What's your we... table walk-ins? Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we do not word. have... Yeah, seriously. Unfortunately, we do not have an appointment, but we do have an urgent... It is urgent that we talk to speak with the Elder. He kind of give, gives you a, a, a semi-strained smile and says... I'm sure it is quite urgent. He is, however, in a meeting right now. Our Captain Corla. May I inquire One. to the nature of this urgent matter that you need to discuss with him? Oh, crap. We're not uh, a... We... <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Because we're not allowed to call her, right? Oh, yeah, we're not allowed <laughs> to say. No, you are. Oh, yeah, we are, we are. You're just not allowed to do anything that openly... Goes against... Betrays them. Oh, okay. Legion. Oh, I forget that or this one's goals. a lot easier. Mm -hmm. You mean secretly betray the Shadow Legion? Unknowingly? We have... <laughs> I would like to limit test this caller. Oh, We're here to no. take care of some issues outside the city, but we need to be able to get outside the city to do any kind of good. He Ooh. kind of sits there almost like waiting for you to elaborate. I mean, we could let him know about the... What's... Well... We could say that uh, we suspect that his issue and our issues are, are closely related. Uh, our resources are pointing us in the same direction. We might have some information that would be very useful to the Elder in, in the issues who? that you guys are having. We were sent by the Faventine government to go and investigate. Does my mic still suck? Slightly, yes. But yeah. Uh, what else is uh, we might have more information on his the issues he's he's dealing with outside the city. Mm -hmm. Quid pro quo kind of situation here. Make a persuasion. You got it, friend. 
persuade this fool. English class. Should guard bardic inspiration. He seems to be weighing his options. I mean, I could always just do this too. Just gonna have it on here. Put him in the trance. Oh, you chose that one? That's cool. Um, 18? You don't actually have to use that. He, uh, okay. He, he takes a moment to weigh his options and then decides to give you. Very well. I will um, escort you up there and see about interrupting his meeting with something that Captain Laura Layman. Hey, two birds, one stone. Thank you. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. so. We appreciate. We appreciate your understanding in this matter. He uh, gets up from his desk and motions for you all to follow him up the stairs. And on the third floor, the elder has an office. Uh, inside, you can hear muffled voices kind of speaking to one another. Um, as he gets the door, he kind of motions you all to wait for him. Opens it himself. A few moments later, the uh, voices inside have quiet, and the receptionist comes back to the door, opens it up, and bids you all to enter. In we come. Enter we shall. There are two other people in the office. There is who you assume to be Elder Zeras, sitting behind a uh, rather el elaborately carved um, with Several bits and bobs upon it, including lots of paperwork. Kind of ri a rifling through. Um, standing next to him in full plate armor is who you assume to be guard captain. She is standing next to the desk, uh, one hand kind of resting gently on it, kind of giving you all a it's over. Um, Elder Zaros is. Um, Seemingly middle-aged in, in human terms. Uh, long silver hair that he's kind of back to let flow down his back and out of his face. Um, he has a small circlet that he wears as some sort of badge of office, you assume. And he is wearing plain white and gray. Uh, the guard captain is, that is clothed fully in plate. She has a uh, very neatly tied back red hair. And her plumed helmet sits. As you all enter, she is the first one to speak. She says, Greetings, outsiders. We are told that you have very important business with us. Important enough to interrupt a rather important meeting. She kind of glares daggers at the receptionist. Who kind of sheepishly like looks down and excuses himself out of the room. <laughs> he gets in trouble later, dude. Let's see. Uh the you... uh, the elder oh. kind of tenses his fingers together and kind of leans forward and says Welcome, I am Elder Zeros. Please tell us what has brought you here in such a a bow and say thank you for taking this time and I apologize. We apologize for interrupting your meeting. We have reason to believe that the same people that are people and or I should say people, people that are causing you issues are causing us some issues as well and we're here to take care of that. But in order to take care of it, we have to be able to leave the city. Uh, yeah, there's a very, I guess, dangerous faction that seems to have infiltrated uh, your lands and uh, 
we're here to root them out, get them out. And we su- we suspect uh, we we don't know what, how big their influence has already been, um, but yeah, we're sitting here to to take care of the the problem. He and the guard captain look at each other and say, "Sarah says." There are certainly problems here in the city. However, what do you know of what is going on? I mean, we really don't know much going on behind the walls. We just know there's a nefarious group out there that we're trying to hunt down. Uh, what is the entire the entire armies? We also know there's an entire warforged army out there somewhere that's fixing to cause some hell. It already did cause hell. Yeah, yeah, we know there's an army uh, brewing and gathering forces. Army? And it looks confused and looks over at Guard Captain Lorelei. News to me, sir. Ripperoni. Don't know of anything. Ripperoni. Don't know of anything about army, but there certainly is something going on out there. Quite frankly, I don't know if I trust you all enough to speak of such matters. Oh, man. What would need to be done to gain your trust? I guess, you know, I'll speak that in Elvish, because why the heck not? I have that language. Mm -mm. He'll respond to you in the same language. Um, Ah, one of our own. Greetings, brother. Well, as it turns out, we have our own fill of problems in the city itself. I do not know how long you've been here, but perhaps you've already noticed that um, the gates are closed. They're not letting anyone. I did notice that, yes. I had been speaking around with some of the fellow villagers to go try to get an understanding of the situation. I figured you'd know best. We have problem smugglers we caught a cart on its way outside a merchant caravan of some sort when we one of our guards got shall we say vicious and decided to check what was inside of these carts before we let them through they were filled with casks of some wretched substance. We confiscated it all, arrested the men working the cart. And what we found out is whatever this toxic substance is trying to bring woods, it kills poison. And they were bringing it in a substantial quantity. I don't know why. But this is one of the reasons we decided to shut down the gates of the city until the root cause of these smugglers and whatever they're planning is He said that in Elvish, right? Yes. This whole conversation that's between him and Zach Warren. The rest of us blink, 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 blink. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, very interesting. It's like no, I have absolutely no idea of what's going on. I kind of stop and think for a moment to make sure I understand the situation internally, and I'll respond back and go say, "I believe with this group of outsiders I'm with." We might be able to go and root out this problem. A couple of them are very skilled in the dark underbellies of their own lands. We might be able to root out this, or at least the reason why such a deadly toxin is being brought into such a sacred uh, forests. 
I like to believe that the elder looks at us after this and we just kind of look back. I give him a little wave. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He'll uh he will continue in common again so that everyone can stand in. I believe that is the very thing that guard captain Lorelai and I were discussing on how to approach this situation. Seems you're coming to Lyran with a very fortuitous time for us. If you are able to put a stop to these people, I'll be more than happy to grant you special permission to enter the forest, even outsiders. What you do beyond, okay. well, deal with the smugglers first and we can talk of beyond. Of course. It will be done. No. Oh. I do believe Captain Lorelei still has the men that helmed the cart in custody still. Is that correct, Lorelei? Yes, indeed. I have them down at the Oubliette. You are welcome mm -hmm. to question them if you like, though we have had very little success doing so ourselves. Oh, you're yeah. more than happy to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Got excited there. Oh, no. Don't worry. You can come with me, Keelik. I'll show you the way. Do you know the way? You're about to know the way. <laughs> I'll respond in Elvish and just say, as you see, kind of pointing out the dark underbelly that I completely meant in that moment. <laughs> it seems your words were true, brother, he says in Sylvan. <laughs> Uh, continuing in common. In any case, we would prefer this matter to be done as discreetly as possible. However, since you are outsiders, if you... <clears throat> shall we say, be a little rough, worry, have my leave to do so. Please keep anyone innocent of such crimes out. No problemo. I only I have no problem with innocent people. Oh yeah. When you threaten the sanctity of, you know, common decency. Um like poisonings. <laughs> Guard Captain Lorelei will uh kinda take her helmet and begin to put it on and say I will send word to my men that you are allowed into the jet in order to question the prisoners. Hopefully you'll have better luck getting them to talk than we. I just would prefer that you do. No problemo. It's about this time that you hear the stomping of feet and uh, a raised voice. And you see um, Lorelai and Zeros kind of give each other a look and just sigh, and Lorelai kind of reaches up and takes her helmet off and <laughs> back at her side as the door opens and a very angry elven man, um, similarly aged as Zeros, but he, he still has uh, black instead of it going to gray and silver. He comes in, he is wearing similar robes to that of Elder Zeros, but his green in color. He does not wear any sort of circlet. And he kind of stops in his tracks and kind of looks between you and the other two, and he begins to uh, yell in Sylvan, Zeros, what is the meaning of this, speaking to outsiders? Without consulting anyone else. Can I? Planning. Oh, man. I want to make it worse, but I won't. I do, too. <laughs> I guess I'll speak up and say... I'm sorry to trouble you. We just wish to... Um, oh, gosh. I'm not trying to pause. Um, we're just here to go and... Uh, bridge the gap between our two factions. To help out with your root problem. I believe that we can do that. I built this Mary Bear again behind me. It's going specifically <laughs> do just that in any situation. 
We even took on a uh, uh, dragon turtle and survived the tail of the tail. He kind of gives you a once over and sneers. He's not speaking to you, outsider. You may know mm. our tongue, but you do not know our. And he turns and begins a conversation with Zeros in yet another. Ooh. Um, do not believe. <laughs> Probably not. Which one? Do not speak. But it seems like Zeros. Problems. Continuing on with a, con a very heated conversation. Uh, meanwhile, Lorelai kind of comes over and says, "I apologize for Kitos's manners. Um, brash, quite rude. However, he has a rather large backing in the city. Should Zeros ever step down or rise?" Unable to perform his duties as elder, he would be the next person to. So we uh, have to. Mm. Anyways, come along. Let's uh, take you on down to Eric's. You seem to uh, notice that she is using this as a excuse to uh, get herself out of this conversation as well. <laughs> oh gosh! I'll and follow her. You you the uh the shouting elf and the trying to maintain his pleasure there us <laughs> to their argument ah, i see make your way on down on the way she tells you that there are Three men, they're all human, uh, and that they were captured along with the cart, along with the toxic. Try and ferret out uh, the origin, the purpose of. Three men are Delmuth, Kailu, and Vulan. Delmuth, Kailu, and Vulan. These were the. The guys they have in prison? Yes. Oh. Delmuth, Kylan, and what? Lou? Kylu and. Kylu. Looks like we're taking on Vulin first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get him. Where's Harvey? Let's just do the method where, like, you have one in one room, have one in the other room, just torture one. Good cat, bad cop. Just hear him screaming. Yeah. You're wanting yeah. to actually torture them? Or Not particularly, no. <laughs> um, uh, just put I me just in a room one. with one of them. Just put yeah, me in yeah, a room. Not, yeah. I'm not going to participate. I don't condone it, but I'm not participating. <laughs> Um, I, it depends how, how willing they are to speak. I might participate in a little she bit. She just said not to kill them. Why? Yeah. In my lands, when you're at war, sometimes you have to do a little bit extra to get some information. <laughs> yeah, but are these well, guys that you're true. at war with? Not at <laughs> war. Exactly. We're like spies. As far as you know, this incident could be completely unrelated to your mission. Yeah, it sounds very unrelated. It's true, but they're also carrying poison. And I don't like that. Yeah. So, yeah, Lorelai will tell you that they haven't had much trouble talking, getting any of them to talk, um, but kind of gives you a brief description that Delmuth seems to be the big stupid one. Uh, Kailu is rather agey. Anxious. Vulin is full headed, but is keeping his. Ooh. All right. 
Emberfoot. Sounds like you need you should have your way with Delmuth. Take your pick at who you would like to speak with and change your room. Delmuth would be a good good start. <laughs> is, is it bad? I want a room with the anxious one. Go ahead. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the we'll go with the anxious one. I like that. That's just you know, the the sadistic side of uh of me. Uh, I mean, he's more you, likely to speak. Lonnie or of uh, of Kilik. <laughs> oh, Kilik. Oh, he's he's more likely to speak. He's more afraid, so he's more likely to speak. Yeah, who knows what the dumb one knows? Probably nothing. More than what you would think. Cool. Let's start with uh, Kailu then. And that's what we'll Kailu? do. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Lorelai um, marks off a couple orders and Sylvan to some of the guards to go and bring Kailu. Uh, takes <sighs> you to a small room with a table. Pairs on either side to allow you to have a little sit down. Sorry. Who's partaking in the torture? I mean, the interrogation? <laughs> so oh, torture. Man. I'm going to stand in the corner of the room. It doesn't have to devolve into torture if he's willing to tell us something. Uh, uh, I'll give you seven minutes, uh, Emberfoot. <laughs> I'm not going to partake in it. No, thank Just you. Just go ahead and climb to the ceiling as soon as we walk in. <laughs> Turn the lights off. Um, just, just climb, ceiling. climb to the ceiling first. Backwards. Yep. Okay. Exactly. He knows what's up. <laughs> exactly. You ever seen The Exorcist? There you go. Yep. That's what we're going for. <laughs> we're gonna try to scare the shit out of him immediately. Well, yeah. I didn't know if I should let you just try to work your charisma first. Well, then... I yes, but it'll help if he's also frightened. I get. It. I yeah. That makes sense. If we can instill a little bit of fear in him first, then we can go ahead and go from there. So, um, you guys are in this small little room, which is kind of cramped with all of you, to be fair. But uh, Kailu is brought in. See, he is a man probably in his mid-twenties, kind of disheveled looking. Um, blonde haired, maybe average height, um, and kind of scrawny. As he is shoved into the room by the guards and the door locked behind him, he kind of nervously looks around at all of you and hey, you guys on elves. What the fuck is this? Listen here, friend. We just come here for some answers. That's all we need. Nothing has to happen. We can just talk this out. I can ask a few questions. You can give me some answers. It can be that easy. This again. Look, I didn't know it was in the car. Okay? Uh, it's doing a job. Who hired you to do this job? By Lou, but he was hired by someone else. Same thing I've told the other guard. Can we sense any intent? Yeah, any insight like check. Motive? Yeah. Insight check. Does anyone have better insight? Me. I, I have good insight check. I <laughs> but I rolled like shit. <laughs> oh, you're partaking in the torture as well, is that so to, it's an interrogation. To avoid <laughs> dogpiling, let's designate yeah. someone to take the yeah. reins on certain things. Okay. Okay. So my insight is a plus six usually. Yeah, yours is better. So we'll go with yours then. Okay. Deathmore, he definitely uh, seems to be uncomfortable with the situation. Um, the answers he's given so far seem truthful. Um, however, he's definitely about something. Um, I will whisper that into uh, um, Halion's ear. What's got you so nervous, friend? What are you hiding? 
Like I said, as long as you tell us, there don't have to be any secrets here. Nothing bad has to happen, man. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. You obviously know something. something's making you comfortable. You know something. You don't want to tell us. What is it? What's up? I'm uncomfortable fucking here, all right, and being <laughs> jailed by these goddamn elves. Something the Emberfoot. He doesn't job. want to talk. Let me have my way with him. No. And on. then I start walking up the wall like backwards. <laughs> you like you don't want. I'm trying to be reasonable here. You don't want my friend here to get his hands on you. And I'm no. gonna roll for intimidation. <laughs> I, f- I feel like we should give him fucking the snake oil. <laughs> I'm gonna make you cheese. Oh. Okay. Uh. okay. Okay, I can help with that. So first things first. Uh, Killick begins to walk up the wall, and his eyes go wide as he just kind of like pushes himself even more against the door and he's like, the fuck are you? I always want to say your worst nightmare. Like that, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't I don't say anything. <laughs> just look at him with them yeah, fucking red eyes. Like, uh, my, my, uh, my bloodlust kind of comes out a little bit. Uh, I get a little excited in my thing show. So. Oh no, not a spirit. And my either. eyes, they light up like they are in the my thumbnail picture thing. His spirit pressure's off the charts, guys. He He's kind of like trying to shrink down a little bit. <laughs> he, he says, Listen, I swear, I don't know who Hyatt is. All I know is whoever it was, they're real fucking shit, man. If, if they find out that we ratted on them, they're going to just kill us as soon as we walk out of here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So they, you know there's some bad, bad people. Where were they having you take this? Uh, just to... I'll pull my map and show it to him. Oh, let's see. That... My notes. Oh, that's right. Because I I don't know. I swear, I was just hired to protect the cart. I was just to stay with the cart and make sure it got where it was supposed to go. Which one of you? Which one of you knows where it was going then? Vulan's the brains of the operation. He's the one who got hired and then hired us. Okay. Well, I'm going to believe you for now. I'm going to make sure this cooperation looks good for you, alright? But, your young kid, you got a lot going for you. I want to think about your contracts a little bit better next time, buddy. Yeah, sure, of course. Get nah. me the fuck out of here. It's creeping me I, out. I drop down, like, uh, right behind him. He, and and he say, is, you sure? <laughs> the first up against the door. He is facing you. Oh, yeah. Then right next to him, yeah. He said, you sure, Emberfoot? <laughs> Easy, Keelik. Easy, Keelik. He gave us what we needed. We, pro- we made a promise. We wouldn't hurt him if he'd listened to us. Yeah, they are no fun. <laughs> so with that, uh, the guards open up and, and take him away. Lorelai kind of steps into the room, kind of gives you all an approving look and says, Sure, you want to go into the woods? We could really use some here. It's an interesting job offer for the future, but we have other things to tend to that are fairly pressing. Self. So. Glad to help, though. Mulan's the brains. Or the other. Ooh, Quite obvious. Kind of obvious, but. Sounds like the way they'd handled this, he's the only one who actually... Smart. Yeah. 
Yes. Hey, uh, Keelik, why don't you go ahead and crawl up behind that doorway before he even walks in here? All right, I'll do that. And I'll <laughs> try to, um, yeah. So before they bring uh, Fulin in, um, hey, Halion, weren't you trying to get a job as a smuggler out here? Or weren't, wasn't that a job offer we had? Was actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, the name is Garrick Garrick Ophelin, and he should be at the tavern tonight. But I don't know if it's related yet. No, but that might be a good idea to keep in mind as Volan comes in. Okay. Volan is brought in. Um, Volan is. Other human. This guy is probably in his mid to late thirties. Kind of on there, he's probably done this a time, any time. Um, he is has a one large scar running from kind of the corner of his right eye down across his mouth and on his chin. He has. Relatively short cut black hair that has begun to start to kind of soften a little bit and thick five o'clock shadow. As he enters, he just kind of. <laughs> this is what the elves have resorted to. All right. I don't know what you mean, friend. We're just oh, here to I have a friendly know. little chat. Oh, I think you know exactly what I mean. There ain't nothing <laughs> friendly about it. Get on with it. Ask your questions. I ain't telling you shit. Oh, so that's the way we're going to play, huh? How aggressive. You know, we had a friendly chat with one of your friends and everything went fine. He went back. He's going to get fed nice today. He might even get sent on his way tonight. We have to see. You, on the other hand, I like your spunk, but I don't know how well it's going to turn out for you, buddy. Go ahead and take a seat. We're going to have some talks. He fully, keep an eye on this one. Fully walks over to the chair and sits down on it. Kind of leans back and puts his feet up. Comfy, huh? Nods. So, I want to know who hired you to take this card? And I want to know where my father went all those years ago. I guess <laughs> neither of us are getting those answers, are we? Honestly, with a little shit like you at home, I probably wouldn't come back either, man. And <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna reply with an "Oh shit!" He goes <laughs> in the bed, cutting right to my very soul. That is. Sits. Expectantly. You know, I came in here with the plan of interrogation, but we can resort to something a little more entertaining if we'd like. Is yeah. this prisoner cuffed? He is. We're gonna have. Hmm. Now, my, 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 isn't that unfortunate? <laughs> you gonna heat metal? Yeah. Okay. Just a little warmth for him, real quick. One moment. Has this guy sustained any uh, damage? Is he doing okay? He's fairly well rested. Okay. He was taken in without a fight. Okay. Cups are gonna get a little uncomfortably hot. Sorry. He's dead. <laughs> that would be funny. Fix him. 
He can be downed, and then I'll just cast Healing Word on his ass. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, River. I was having the same idea anyways. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah? I was just going to kind of... That's a, that's a lot more damage, though. Well... I'm trying to go uncomfortable. It's not gonna, necessarily hurt, hurt. It, it's that's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable if his leg's broken. Like... <laughs> It's a little vicious. I think we're just going to stick with some mild scorching of the wrist for right now. Know. A little bit of burn. Will he talk? Will he talk? Um, so as he feels the, the shackles begin to heat up against his skin, he kind of sucks in breath between his teeth in pain. Then, <laughs> oh, real original that. You know how many times this has been done to me, eh? This is like a little walk down memory lane for me, it is. Yeah, sure, it tickles. It'll heal. Oh. Okay. E C <laughs> well, We could waterboard him with my my potion of water breathing. I mean I don't think it would really do much. <laughs> No, you get the water board, and then you have the potion of water breathing, so he can't drown. You know what? This guy's being awfully tense. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna holler at Keelik. <laughs> hey, Keelik. I uh. I want you to come down here and keep our friend some company. Yeah, so I, I drop down right next to him, and uh, just. See how he reacts. When he drop down, he he does kind of like jump a little bit. Mm-hmm. Kind of, he, he brings his legs down off the table, kind of slams them back down, looks at you, and goes, "Fuck are you, freak shy so, so. This is my friend Keelik. He uh, he has some special qualities to him. You could say." Oh, special friend. I, oh, I get it. Yeah, I mean. No. Yeah, I, <laughs> wow. I guess kind of. What a Last friend, I mean, that cut real deep, but I really don't <laughs> tend to care as long as they have a pretty face. Um, My friend Keelik here, though, has a peculiar affliction to him. He tends to be known as what they call a creature of the night, if you know what I mean. Oh, and what? Like your mother? Getting, he might be getting awfully hungry at this point. Yeah, that's right. Now, from what I hear, the onset of vampirism tends to be a nasty little bit of, of uh, fun. Or I could just have him bleed you pretty much dry. Let you recover. And you could be our personal blood bag from here on out. So that Keelik doesn't have to get hungry again. Oh, please. Yeah, I wasn't going to let you take it. Got a stick shoved too far up their asses. Let, some, let us go like that. They're going to want us to do our time. <laughs> this guy is... One, one minute real quick, if you don't mind. The old time you need. I'm going to step out with... Uh, 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 uh... Devin, me and Devin are going to step out together. Okay. There's no one else in the room, then. I'm in the no, room. No. I'm not uh, here. Yeah, you two are still in the room. Okay. Keely, <laughs> behave for right now. As it sounds like he's not going to talk. Just let me, he, let me have me. my way with him. Okay. Tuesday, please keep him restrained. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my tattoo. <laughs> To lift him in the air. Or him and the chair. Poor choice of words on my part. I definitely see that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh he can't really fight it since he is sitting down chained up. Yep. He's automatically going to fail. Yay. Uh do you want me to roll it? Yeah, go ahead. Because there's no 
button. Ugh. Oh shit, he's dead as fuck. Gus taken a little bit by surprise as the tentacles reach out and wrap around him, picking him and the chair up. I like to think it's slammed him against him, the wall. Slamming him against the wall. Oh, that's new. <laughs> wow, I like this guy. Yeah, I do too. He's kind of fun. He uh, kind of struggles against it. And he goes, oh. you know what? Reminds me of old sailing days. Does it? God damn it. Uh, you used to being tied up? That's fun. I like you that. Only, uh, you mean you can have some fun later. Aren't you outside? <laughs> Did you no, we're leaving. Happening, uh, Scarlet. So, will it remind you if I break, like, three ribs? <laughs> I Hell yeah. also were wanting. I'm just wanting to speak with uh, the captain real quick. Lorelai? Yes. Yep. She's actually in a nearby room. She's able to hear. Oh, God. <laughs> you see, so. He's spider the needle on his fingers, right? I'm going to pop my head in her little office or wherever she's sitting and be like, is it cool if we take him with us on a little trip? <laughs> We're not gonna take him far. It's just enough to make him believe that you'll let us keep him as a blood bag. Mm, make a persuade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm more list the fact that he just these used to get tied up as a sailor. Actually, wow. I've known. Actually, he's done that with Scarlet. She says, "I would prefer he stays here because." If any of his comrades see you out and about with him in town, it we'll makes him. it harder for you to, you know, look into it. Don't necessarily have to even leave the castle quite so far. I think he might crack before we get there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So, uh, Yay. The, the barracks and the oubliette. So the oubliette is a, a like, trapdoor dungeon. Oh, okay. They were shoved into a hole in the ground and, and covered up, basically. Um, which is all sitting in the square that makes up the, the, the guardhouse. is like built square building uh, wrapping around an inner courtyard where it's... Okay. Interesting. So, I, uh, I'm Kelix getting impatient. Fair so enough. I, I guess we'll just head back and see what we can do with what we can work with. <laughs> I, I pull out my pipe of haunting, which is just a creepy looking wooden wooden pipe, and I uh play, I guess, an eerie uh like an eerie tune, right? And to uh to see if I can to start the torture, you know, you want them to be terrified, so See if he makes the save. Oh shit! Oh. Um. Uh oh. Okay. I don't have pay. Yeah. Please. Mm. Okay. As you play the tune, he's still kind of like kind of struggling in the boiling grasp of Judy's tattoo. And he his head kind of jerks towards you as you play the the music and you see that the whites of his eyes go black as he is drawn into magic and at first nothing seems to happen and then it begins to scream Dude, I think you went a little there. old I think you went a little over yeah so so he's terrified now right Correct. Um, is, uh, is Emperfoot still out of the room 
I'm coming back in right he, now. He, okay, because uh, I'm not going to hear the screams. This is the first part of the torture. I haven't actually got to the, the, the next part yet. So I pull out a knife and I'll, I'll let Emberfoot question him and uh, I'll progress as his answers, depending on his answer. Whatever, whatever haunting scene types cause fantasy. Apparently, they have broken. Proceeded. Oh, okay, he's, he's way, done. He's ready. Like, no, way, no, they, I say count back. For, uh, what's one thousand minus seven? He seems to be <laughs> in like a primal terror right now. Is he like losing his mind, screaming and thrashing and babbling incoherently? Oh fuck. Way I'm, gonna to enter, go. I'm gonna look at you and I'll be like, "You played those goddamn pipes, didn't you?" Yes, it's fine. I look disappointed as I walk out, you know, letting him go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Was there? It only lasts for a minute. Yeah, and he gets yeah, to make a save it, every six uh, seconds. The effects kind of last forever. So after a minute, or probably what seemed to him like hours, <laughs> finally, you too. panting and sweating profusely, the uh, whites of his eyes go back to normal. I'll just put this chair back where I you I told you you didn't want a few minutes alone with my friend Keelik. That was literally 60 seconds, my friend. He kind of looks up at you and goes, Fuck! Did you do to me? <laughs> do you really? I don't even feel like telling you. Do you just want it to happen again, or you want to work and cooperate, my man? Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's time to think. Uh, so that was just part one of the torture. I. What do you say? It's my turn this time. He um, kind of grits his teeth. Garrick. Excuse me? He said Garrick. Garrick. He's your man. He's the brains oh. behind all of it. Pushing all the shit. Through the gates. Garrick. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, Alright, so Garrick was... Uh, no need at this point. So, Garrick was the one that hired you. Now, where did he hire you to take this, friend? Take it all the way to Left Bar. And were you to meet somebody there, or was it supposed to be a dead drop? Dead drop. Outside of the village. I'm going to look over at uh, uh, Evan, what's your character's name? Zathamore. Zathamore. I'm going to look over at Zathamore. Wait for his confirmation that he's being truthful. Oh. He's be talking. All right. Well, do you have any idea what was in those barrels? Kind of poison, all I know. All right. Well, I appreciate your cooperation. We're gonna let Fuck the elves you. take you back now. Oh, you said you used to be a sailor. Oh. Sailor and as a nice, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is that the more? Oh, um, you said you were a sailor. Who did you sail under? Whose flag? Sailed under my own. My own crew. Mm. Okay. Well, if they ever let, let you out of here, I'd recommend you go get yourself a nice boat. Start something up of a simple, simple fishing crew. I mean, wouldn't want to have to run into you again. There's a pirate, pilot, pirate, literally at the docks right now. Nice crew. 
And she loves ropes. <laughs> and other things. But I wasn't too much of a fan of your last comment, friend. So as we leave, I'm going to hit him with the Phantasmal Force. Okay. And I'm just going to make him relive that experience that Keelit gave him a few times. Maybe just once. Until he, just before he cracks. I don't want him to go completely insane. I'll just stay here until I can tell he's not going to die from it. Damn. I don't think it works. He won't fall for the same bit twice, will he? Well, good thing he caved into the fear. Better not yeah, hope. I mean. Better hope I don't find you. Oh, I'm kind of hoping I do. <laughs> You know what? I don't like that comment. Oh, no. <laughs> I like how we just keep what thinking of this poor man after he gives us everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He keeps digging the knife in his own. He keeps digging the grave deeper for himself. Oh, my. And 11 misses. Well, I mean, well, I guess he he's sitting really in a chair. Miss. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Sitting, he's actually still tied up. He can hit him with tentacles. If that's no, it, no, I already. Uh... At, when I left, it kind of went away. At least, it, yeah. He, he now, I'm going to restrain my punch. I don't. I'm not looking to actually kill. Is I'm looking to like punch. break a nose. Hmm. Well, you you strike at him. He sees it coming and jerks out of the way. Kind of grits his teeth and laughs at you and says, "Yeah, well, I didn't like your mother last night either, but I still fucked her." Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Wait, you're uh, dead? Because my mother's been dead for decades. Centuries even, one might say. <laughs> Necrophilia, huh? Interesting. <laughs> this, this, char- this character's going to be fun. I like him. I like this man. I like breaking him. It's kind of fun. I was going to chop- start chopping. Actually, is this a PG show? <laughs> I was going dark. It God, is, no idea. It's age restricted. But He's gonna yeah, be a little toy. A little dark. I could go dark. Okay, because I was literally fixing to start chopping his fingers off and feeding it to him and having him, you know, strict. Jesus, yeah. that is dark. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah. What's your alignment? Neutral. Mm. What? I don't necessarily think. Walk. I think chopping off someone's fingers and feeding it. To what? To I get think it, that would push you to that evil. Pushes it a little further than just true neutral. I'm sorry, but uh, I even had a limit. <laughs> yeah. You know. I mean, I could do that. <laughs> I mean, Native Americans were neutral and they scalp people. Uh, they weren't the neutral tribes, friend. That was not the good tribe. <laughs> Those tend to be the yeah. warmongering tribes. It's a little uh. different. Maybe I should have changed my alignment then. Shit. I mean, you can. Not just kidding. It's all right. We didn't get there, so it's not a problem. I can clear. I didn't even touch him. Have a name. Have destination. You have them. Oh, brown cows. So I guess we can tell her that it is the same. Yeah. Freaking. I mean, I, Lyra heard too. Yeah, mm-hmm. Lorelai was able to. Lorelai, Lyra, Lorelai heard us, so she Lyra knows what's going on. The... the city, I... yeah. I said Lyra too, so it wasn't even right on any front. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wrong all around. But I don't think she knows that we knew those destinations already, and the people. Well, no, or... no one knew where the. Product was anything ready. was mm. headed somewhere and they stopped it. Yeah, so as Laura like comes in, she kind of like thoughtfully, um, kind of hand on chin, kind of thoughtfully looking. 
Makes me wonder how much of it got through before we found out. Well, that is a question for another time, I suppose. Have a name. Now we need to find out where this stuff is coming in. They have to be keeping it somewhere, moving it in such large quantities. I They're actually not wrong. believe we have some insight on that already, or at least on garlic or garlic. Garlic. Yes. <laughs> garlic. Garlic Junior. Yeah. It's nothing but God, like <laughs> Garrick. Garrick O'Fallon. Yep. <laughs> We're just gonna keep butchering that name. I hope you know. <laughs> I know. Happens all the time. So how do you want to play this? That's a good question. How do I want to play? How do we want to play this, guys? Well, let's I already have ask. a a lead um, on on that dude. Let's go ask him for a job. Yeah, I guess we could see where the shipment's being taken. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Well, they have to be storing it somewhere. Yep. They know it's likely, I mean, it's coming off the ship. Yep. Shut down wherever it happens to be. That may grant them enough. It kind of makes me want to go back to our ship. It or kind of makes me wonder if we all drank that night, that first night here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, it, by the way we had a like... rather odd mushroomy drink the other night here. What is that? He kind of like gives you a more of a wine gal myself. Ah. Huh. I like a lady of class. That's good. Slightly um, concerned. The two of you that failed that con. Mm, I was one of them. Where's my guy? There he is. Perception. You haven't paid it. Oh, both of you. You haven't really paid it much mind, just general business of the day so far. But Ragmir, you have this like itch back of your neck. Alum, you have a similar it left arm. Mm. It's been bugging you... you. And at the time that they bring up the drink, you're like, oh yeah, what's going on with that? And you look down at your arm and you see inexplicably what looks like a small little mushroom to grow. Uh. <laughs> I point and laugh. I want to point and laugh. No. <laughs> that allowed. Ragnar, you have a similar situation, just mushroom growing out of the back of your neck. Small one. It's, you know, nothing, nothing major, but definitely there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um... Would this be called a disease? Um. Yeah. Laura like no. gives you a look over and says, "Mean." All one of the healers. <clears throat> I mean that that's fine. I can handle a disease. I. Hmm. How do I want to do that? How can I do that? How How do you feel? For you two, other than the itching line. I'm assuming we'd, I mean, yeah. 
You know what, Cal? I'll start with Callum because I figure he has a weaker constitution. More than likely, yes. Compared to him, I'll do a hand of healing uh, with the uh, addition of the farm, the uh, physician's touch. Okay. So, uh, as you tap on the pressure points that you know to accelerate the healing and the the. And the body's natural defenses against disease. The small little mushroom on his arm begins to shrivel up and then simply just play. It's that easy. I just hit the level for that. <laughs> That's cool. Thank I'll you, kinda, more. Of course. I'll kind of uh, resummon my chi inside myself again and do it a second time. This time over on um, Ragmire. Okay, Ragnar. same thing. Yeah, the small yeah. mushroom that had begun to grow its withers and falls away. Thank you. You're welcome. Itching is gone as well. Lorelai just kind of gives you a look of like partial disgust, partial like. Sympathy. <laughs> says, anyway, is that out of the way? The life of adventure should happen. Y'all, y'all got some weird shit in this city. Well, can I collect the uh, shriveled up mushrooms? Again. Yeah. Awesome. I'll do that. You're gonna keep them for later. Um. That being said, what is your back? Three days ago. Hmm. Did what? Is what we were transporting. Yeah. Yeah. We we inquired about a jobs in the tavern, and I think we have a line to um to get a hold of him, Garrick. I don't know if we should pretend to be doing the job for him, so that we could see if there's someone, if they you know find out more information. Maybe there's a root cause, or because we really don't understand what the point of the smuggling is. I'd I'd like to get other more information from him directly or discreetly. Agreed. Ideally, we can find the place where we're storing all. Of them. Maybe slip in, notice. Maybe gain their. Have them lower. Take the opportunity. Yes. Yeah. I'm also curious where they're <laughs> where they're trying to get the poison to from the drop off. That far. Ah. It's a small. What about any nearby? Is there anything of interest so nearby? Yeah, it's just to believe of what it would be, of what they could be dragging it there for. That, um, oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the name of the village again? Lafar. Lafar. Uh, synonyms. Mm. That malicious faction we spoke of. Um, we ran into a few of their members. Their armored 
individuals. Um, there's, I believe we were tracking them to the same city this poison is being delivered to. Um, there may be some connection there. Uh, so I would be on the lookout. Um, oh, yeah, ab above game, Chris. Um, they had mentioned the shadow. What are they called? The sh our faction called the shadow. Yeah, he had mentioned recruiting. Right, members. What does that look like? It's like a downtime activity, or no? Well, throughout the corner. Trying to achieve. Mm, okay. Uh, you get... Interesting. And the other team will. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But yeah, so I'll um, yeah, speaking to her about this uh, nef nefarious or the, whatever they're called, that this faction, I'll I kind of you know warn her that. Uh, Something's brewing, and it, it seems like your town is, uh, unfortunately, a part of it. So um, just be on the lookout. And uh, if you'd like to help or if you know of others who would like to um, help us weed out this, um, you know, please inform us. Well, we'll do what we can. I... Fires for most and out of my that, That's understandable. Yeah, well taking care of the poison should uh, at least help your help situation out here in the city. Help both situations out. We hope. Oh. And I know it's a bit of a stretch. But by any chance, could you help us out with some supplies for this mission? Supplies. I don't think we need anything too drastic. Just some basic healing potions and whatnot. I'll see what I can drum up. Anything would be appreciated. Or I will take your leave and, and just, uh... All right, fellas. Do we want to stay one more night in the city while she drums us up some items, or do we want to head out as soon as she drums them up tonight? They stay an extra day. Oh, you're. I mean. Sorry, if it wasn't clear, you're you're not done in the city. Yeah, not at all. No, oh, we still have to go and stop the uh, stop the poison. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go catch um, Garrick. Garrick. All right. Yeah, well, he should be at the end. At the end. Um, this evening. Basically, got to put a stop to the stop. Fair. Okay. Sounds like a plan, yeah. Let's go meet up with the <sighs> Garrick. Alright. So, anything you wish to do in particular while you wait? Uh, Nightfall. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, I guess I'll meditate to regain my uh, key points. Yeah, you've got plenty of time to do that. The whole interrogation and light toward only really lasted you most. Of the time. Oh yeah. Is there any way I could go out and try to drum up a few tips? Try to do that. I'm Yay. looking for some extra coin. Oh, um, I guess. Mm. Do you guys really want me to go with you? For the smuggling operation, speak with the head guy as an elf. You don't need to. No, he's a halfling. 
they we're talking about Zathamore. We yeah. want Zathamore with us. Oh, for like shutting down the smuggling? Yeah, uh, to start the uh if you're gonna the, take a false job. Yeah. Oh, with the Garrick? Garrick yeah. is a half ring. Yeah, but Right, yeah. but he we're in a city where he knows the elves are on to him is the point. <laughs> oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Maybe not. Yeah, make me a performance. Yay. Then I guess what I could do is I can wait at the Temple of um, Sehain until you guys get back. Did I bard good? Got some gold. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're able to earn about five gold. Nice. Yeah, I don't really do anything. Maybe just walk around the city a little bit as I wait. Can I do some sleight of hand, stealing some more tips? As while, he's while he's playing music? <laughs> uh, how much gold did you say? I'm sorry, I'm trying to update my... Five. Five. Bet. Making that money. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a fucking... Get the money. Yeah, go ahead and make me a sleight of hand. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice. One. We're able to pick the pockets of uh, a few wandering townsfolk and maybe the odd merchant. And from the pretty much a day's worth of pickpocketing that you do and in trouble, um, you managed to get yourself about four. Yay. <laughs> so, night falls and you with the drunken druid eat contact contact target person of that's I like POI. And... Mm -hmm. Back up with that next time. Yay, yay. All in all, pretty good session. Got a level up out of it. Did uh, only a little bit of light torture. A little bit. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Uh, managed not to get yourselves eaten or sunk. Although it... Astounding. There. Yeah. And are well on your way and delving into the things that trouble. Some nice poi or some nice mushroom whiskey that nice. makes nice. causes much grow on your body. Twenty four days. <laughs> Actually, really cool. Almost want to keep some in the. Does it start causing damage over time? No, it's completely. Oh. Benign. It just it's just annoying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can I can I coat my fucking yakawi with that? <laughs> I I guess you could. Smack people and infect them with the spores just to be <laughs> annoying. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man. Yeah, some of these drinks. Hilarious. Some of these drinks are like really cool. 
And some of them are just nasty, dude. Let's go. I want to drink them all. Yeah, let's see. Thank you. That keeps me safe. Smorgasbord it for me. You can drink a, a, a gnomish concoction that makes you off light like a candle for 1d4 hours. <laughs> That's awesome. You just glow. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, then you just have slog. Drink is taken from the waste barrel. All the leftover half-drunk or not made correctly alcohol is thrown into the barrel to be very cheap. The taste changes daily based off the most unused alcohol that night. The effects are, uh, it's a DC-8 constitution save to keep the random contents down. <laughs> That's funny. It is actually pretty fucking funny. Oh, filled top water. Made by soaking the inner organs of various sea creatures, soaking in a fermented brine. Concoction is the run through... Concoction is then run through a sieve to remove the bones and viscera. Has the effects of the lingering taste of rotten, brackish seafood remains on the palate for. <laughs> that was gross. What else you got? I want something with like a really like kind of like the mushroom style effect. Everything you see for the next six hours is pink. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Good about Amelia. Oh yeah, here we go. Tree ant tea. Served in a tall earthenware mug, this dark tea still has some ground tree ant leaves floating around it. Uh, floating around in it, steep. It is advised to drink slowly, as not to swallow the leaves as it aftertaste. Tea itself is quite sweet, but it can be further sweetened to taste by putting a few twigs of sweet in the mug. It leaves a nutty aftertaste and an uncanny feeling of connectedness. Everything made of wood in your vicinity. Uh, You're while, just tripping. That's while, awesome. While slowly slip, uh, sipping the hot tea, you sprout small twigs and leaves from your orifices. As you continue drinking, the twigs spread and your skin takes on a bark-like appearance. For an hour after finishing the drink, your skin is solid wood, acting like the bark skin spell, and you have disadvantage saving throws against fire. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I actually really like that. Yeah. Some of these are, these are really good. Uh, I want to buy every drink known to man. Gift mouth effect allows the consumer to understand one random language for 1d4 hours. One they previously don't know or aren't fluent. Start running around speaking gibberish. Once the effect wears off, they will return to normal, and if they hadn't learned the language previously before consuming, won't be able to understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they just fucking... It's like the gift of gab, basically. It's fucking... Algernon. <laughs> yeah. Get really smart. Like, I'm gonna hop off. All right, Bye, Devin. Later, guys. Good shit, guys. Good session, y'all. I'll go ahead and end this. Mm -hmm.